think that's all. Welcome everybody to uh, Magic Kingdom, where we put we, we I caught a couple curveballs on myself actually. That uh, I really didn't want to have to go through security with the camera on because I didn't want to put you in my pocket. So I was debating. We were sitting over at Grand Flow. I was waiting to do the Easter eggs, and I thought, oh, you know what? We could start at the Contemporary because if we go to the Contemporary, then I can walk over. Just have to go through the one outdoor security, and then we can just walk over to the Grand Flow, and we're done. And I was on the, uh, the the monorail on my way over, and said, ah, there's only like 20 eggs over there. Let's just go to the Magic Kingdom and and start there, and just walk over to Flo Grand Floridian. We don't have to go through any security on the stream. And then the high school band started coming. They announced three high school bands. I was scrambling to get my stuff out. So that's where we stand right now. And while you're here, before we get started, I'm going to go ahead. I didn't even have time to get my internet going. So give me one second while I get that. I got to sign into the network. There we go. So if it, if it glitched a little bit, I apologize. You should be good to go. But welcome in, everybody. Uh, Tiki Man, Fan Ray, Mazur, uh, Candy Mom 15, Zippity Doo Dug, Serapy Adventures, Plymouth Rock, Debbie Bernfeld, Sebastian the Crab, Kenneth H, Rita Disney Mom, Fred O'Malley, Annette, uh, Candy Mom 15, Big E. That, that last one was from Ohio. Uh, two, the first one was from Il... I can't remember what the first one was from. Second, last two were both from Ohio. Uh, Vicky Gillespie, um, Ed, Florida fan, hope you're well, sir. Alan Perolt. Disney World Freak Carlos, what's up, buddy? We have Sandra D, Susan Boatman, uh, Susan H. We have, oops, hit the wrong button. Jerry Surma, Greg J. Your band stopped there in 1986 for half a day. Let's move over here so you get a little bit better view without the tree in your way. Um, we're just gonna go back to the bottom. If I miss you guys, just read your type. Lori Thompson, Herschel Linney, we have Mark Davis, Janice Disney, Mother Coconuts, Fancy Nancy, Steamboat Disney, Piglet Rue Loves Disney, Mr. Magoo, Karen Forrester, Julia Jones from the United Kingdom, hello, Pam Hill from Alabama, about the same distance away, just kidding, Kristen Grant, DVC Andy, hello sir, uh, Steamboat Disney, got Mike 88 NYC, Mike Lapine, and if I miss you guys, just re repost. Ghost Toast, Detroit Diz, uh, Udali Lane, Bam L, uh, Moon Princess. Wow, there's a lot of you here. Thank you. All right, if I miss you, Sandy Byers, hello, welcome. Teresa Holmes, Jerry G. If I miss you guys, just just let me know. We'll, we'll just retype. We'll, we'll get you. Um, we came to Magic Kingdom, so we're gonna hang out at Magic Kingdom for a little while. Maybe watch some fireworks. Then. Ooh, the train's here. Hmm. Let's see how many people get off the train. Oh, train's closed. Just closed. We just drop them off for the rest of the night. We can't go to the train. Let's go down here, though. Arjun's Richard. What's up, buddy? Oh. Which way do we exit? That way? Oh, see. Thank you. Alley Cats, hello. Matt Murph, Jeff Condon, what's up, buddy? All right, let's go this way and check out just to see if there's any merch over here. Movie Mania Nick, what's up, buddy? Marcella Bird Steel, welcome. Is Corey going to join me on Monday? Uh, Surfer Girl, welcome. Kofa Creative Studios, hello. Corey, uh, it, it, it's a long drive for Corey, it's a long drive for me, but uh, Corey usually has his. He has to watch his girls because I think his wife works on Mondays, but we're working on it. Genie 52503, hello, welcome. All right. You know what? I don't know if we can, oops, excuse me. If we can get in this way or not, we're going to try. Murph, hope you're doing well. Stephen K, Sarah P, hello. <coughs> So I want to go in here and see if they have any of the new merchandise out. Because this used to be where you get all the Disney 50th anniversary stuff. Then the uh, Disney 100. Are we still zoomed in? We're not, I don't think. No, we're good. Paul Angle, welcome in, sir. Hope you're well. And then we'll go around and see what we can get into before we head over to the Grand Floridian. 
uh, to see some chocolate Easter eggs. So yeah, right here is where it all usually is. So it looks like we're going some retro style t-shirts. Look at that, that's actually kind of cool. I mean, I think this is a girl shirt, but I like the design of the Mickey. That is a cool, cool normal Mickey, not rabid Mickey stuff. Get this little water bottle. Just says Mickey Mouse. $19.99, it's not bad for a water bottle. It's probably not the best. Oh, it's actually just unscrews it. There it is. Um, this is the new Play in the Park. I think this is Play in the Park series. Still making those weird spirit jerseys. With, well, the spirit jerseys with that weird line in the middle. And it's uh, no price. None. All right. They don't have any good merch. The, the new merch. I, I won't say good. They don't have any the new merch. Let's head somewhere and do something. But welcome in, everybody. Thank you for being here. We appreciate you. If you're new here, welcome to our family. We go out this way. Sometimes they have a, a character meet and greet right here. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta be careful whether or not you can get up in this way. No price is free, Sandra. That's the way I look at it. That's the way it should be. Jennifer Caruso, welcome. Disney Dojo, hello. Thomas, AKA Gorgeous T, what's up buddy? Thanks for being here. All right, making our way back. It looks very dark on my end. Give me one second, let me double check it. That's just weird because I'm not used to it uh, being light outside, I think. Corby Sinclair, hello, welcome. Let's head back. Maybe check out the laugh floor if it's not too bad. Maybe check out the uh, people mover. Can't do, I know you're all disappointed. Can't do country bears, it shut down. Yes, Stephen K, I know what we can do. We'll see. Let's see how much time we have. Tyler Ford, welcome, thanks for being here. Over 400 people here already, thank you guys. Appreciate it. It doesn't seem as, I mean, I know it is. It just doesn't seem as crowded right here. But I know it's a, it's a busy day here. Just right here, there's some empty spaces in the, uh, in the, uh, in the, in the in the road is one we haven't done tiki room wow very very long time maybe maybe we'll go to tiki room I'm not I'm not honestly not even sure how the stream holds up in there we can go give it a whirl okay Double checking the 8.30 or the fireworks. So we gotta keep an eye on that. We might watch them from the from the front of the park. Maybe outside of uh, maybe outside of the park, right in front of the train station again, like we did last time, but we'll see. That was weird. <laughs> she was one was throwing away and the other one was like, no, that's mine, please don't throw it away. And the other one had a Huge smile on her face as she was throwing it away. All right. Let's go this way. See, it's getting a little busier back here. <laughs> I'd be Rebecca, hello. Oh, you're talking about... Uh, you guys hoping to see uh, Tiana's? It could be running. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it is. 
the Tiana walls are coming down. Yeah, so look, <laughs> I haven't been here in a, in a few weeks, but if you had told me a few weeks ago when I was here that this thing was this close and they'd be testing everything, absolutely not is what I would have said. Shame Ms. Walker, man. Xanax, hello? It is Monday. Um, it was just, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I mean, I don't know what they're doing. Hasn't changed that much. Tony Piccolo, Tony, glad you and Jen made it safely. If you guys are around, come say hi. I unfortunately am being sent to Charlotte, North Carolina tomorrow. Not that there's anything wrong with Charlotte, it's just for work, so I'm not gonna be here in Florida when a lot of my friends are here. Music is playing. Uh, it's <laughs> got you, Carlos. We'll make our way over and see what it's doing. Oops. Try and check on some some times here. Wow, people movers a 25 minute wait for real. They're panicking. Probably. For sure, for sure, uh, Tony, come on over. Eli Sluice, welcome. Let's see what it looks like here at the laugh floor. Um, Christina G, welcome. We must fight. <laughs> Can only be one biggie. Is there? Are there two? Uh, do I have any friends joining later this evening? Moon Princess. I'm not sure. What is this? It says 20 minutes. They just got out. Let's let's go ahead and go back in. See what happens. Hi there. It says 20 minutes. Oh yeah, it's backed up. We're not going in there. It's backed up into the first, the this first room as soon as you go in the door. All right. Stephen K might lose his mind here, but we're gonna veer to the right and see what it looks like with Carousel of Progress. Usually not a line for that. Ray Major says, Steve, what sir? T-Man, hello, welcome. There's a line for Carousel of Progress. Am so I volunteering for the Masters? I wish, Ray. Ray, there's actually a wait list for that. And a lottery, I think, of some sorts. Yeah, I've been at Disney Senior Magic Kingdom is crowded. We'll see. Oops. We'll get onto what we can get onto without. <laughs> Where's the real Steven? Why have you done with him? Hello, Crystal. We're gonna do it. I might have to wait to the next one. Cause I don't know if this many I've never seen this many people in this ride at one time. I can't go to Country Bears anymore because they're just not there. We're gonna give it a whirl. If I lose you guys in here, I apologize. Refresh. I usually lose you in the second or third room a little bit. I'll do the best I can to keep it. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll take a peek in. See if there's anything up front. If there's not, we'll jump back out. Bill B, DBC, welcome in. Uncle Hummy, hello, Badger Backer. Sorry, sorry. Let's go ahead and go. We'll go up front to the side. What the heck? You know what? We'll sit right here. 
Just a reminder, this is a 20 minute presentation in which the okay. procedure will ruin you seven times. Once the ride is in motion, you are not permitted to leave. So if you anticipate needing to leave any time within the next 20 minutes, we ask that you would exit the center, the guys, right now. Alright. Well, do what you can. <laughs> the people behind me are complaining. They don't want to sit here for 20 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, we're nowhere near the center here. I could have gone down closer to center on the other side of these other people, but then I'd be sitting right in front of people. Didn't want to do that. And the people behind me left. All right, enjoy. <laughs> Those people are heathens. Doors are closed, I'm stuck now. Once again, welcome to Walt Disney Chairs of Progress. For your safety and the safety of others, please stay seated throughout the entire duration of the presentation. Supervise your children and enjoy the show. Thank you. Dead boats hello. Joel Shouse, welcome. Welcome to Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Ah, oh, you're in for a real treat. The Carousel of Progress was Walt's own idea from beginning to end. He loved it. He introduced the show at the World's Fair in New York City in 1964, and it was an immediate smash hit. Millions of people came to see it. And since then, the Carousel of Progress has had more performances than any other stage show in the history of American theater. You know, Walt loved the idea of progress, and he loved the American family. And he himself was probably as American as anyone could possibly be. He thought it would be fun to watch the American family go through the 20th century, experiencing all the new wonders as they came. And he put them together in a show called Carousel of Progress, which we are now about to see. Although our Carousel family has experienced a few changes over the years, our show still revolves around the same theme, and that's progress. May the century begin. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. And tomorrow is just a dream away. are getting ready to celebrate Valentine's Day today. <laughs> what year is it? Oh, right around the turn of the century. And believe me, things couldn't be any better than they are today. Yes, sir, buildings are towering now as high as 20 stories. The moving pictures flicker up on a big screen. We have almost 8,000 automobiles in this country, and we can travel by train from New York to California in less than seven days. And I even hear tell about two brothers from North Carolina who are working on some kind of flying contraption. <laughs> It'll never work. Closer to home, we've now got gas lamps, a telephone, and the latest design in cast iron stoves. And that reservoir keeps five gallons of water hot and just three buckets of coal. Oh, well, that sure beats chopping wood. And isn't our new ice box a beauty? Look at that. Holds 50 pounds of ice. Milk doesn't sour as quick as it used to. And our dog, Rover, here keeps the water in the drip pan from overflowing. It wasn't too long ago we had to carry water from a well. And thanks to progress, we've got a pump right here in the kitchen. Of course, we keep a bucket of water handy to prime it with. Yes, sir, we've got everything we need to make life easier. Say, Mother, mm -hmm. I was reading about a fellow named Tom Edison who's working on an idea for snap-on electric lights. Electric lights? No more kerosene. No more gas. <laughs> Sarah sure gets to the core of the apple. But we do have this new wash day marvel. Now it takes me only five hours to do the wash. <laughs> Imagine, it used to take two days. Well, that's right, folks. Now Sarah has time for other things. Like, like canning uh, and cleaning the oven. 
Yes, dear. Lovins don't just clean themselves, you know. Dear. I know, dear. <laughs> and they probably never will. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get the laundry off the line before it starts raining cats and dogs. Uh, don't worry, Rover. She didn't mean real dogs. Besides, it's not going to rain today. My lumbago isn't acting up. I'm not going to say I told you so. Oh, you're going to come down. All you have to do is put your wash on the line, right? Oh, well, the cistern was low anyway. Wow, we look at that. Now, James, I thought I told you to ask my permission before using my new stereoscope. That's not a toy, you know. Ooh, voila. So that's the thing to bring a new chicken today, Dad. Did she knock out? She's the star of the new World's Fair in St. Louis, and... <clears throat> now, you put that away before your mother finds it. Oh, Dad. You heard me. Well, we have one of those new talking machines. Now, that is something. It plays music right here in our home. There's a great... Beautiful tomorrow. Ah, she keeps that thing going all day long. Ah, progress. Ah. Oh, Papa. Yes, Patricia? Papa, all these people. I'm, I'm indecent. <laughs> Don't worry, Patricia. They're friends. That's our teenage daughter. She's getting ready to go to a Valentine's dance across town on one of those new horseless trolleys. I think it's very romantic for taking Mother out for Valentine's Day. Well, you know what kind of sport I am. I only hope I have an evening ever again. Now, you be home by 9 o'clock, daughter. You hear me? Oh, well, with all this talking, I've worked up quite a thirst. <laughs> I think I'll take one of those newfangled trolleys down to the drugstore soda fountain and meet the boys for a cold sarsaparilla. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. We're drinking root beer now. Same kind of thing, different name. Well, that's progress for you. And uh, speaking of progress, there's a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow that tomorrow is just a dream away. Man has a dream and that's the start. He follows his dream with mind and heart. Fourth of July we've had in years. We've come a long way though since the turn of the century over 20 some odd years ago. You know that pilot fella, Charles Lindbergh? He's about to fly a single wing airplane all the way across the Atlantic. <laughs> He's never gonna make it. And sports stadiums are springing up all over. And boy, nobody hits that old horse hide like that new fella Babe Ruth. Jazz music is the cat's meow. And there's been ads in the paper for months for a movie starring Al Jolson. And he's going to talk and sing. Oh, boy, I've got to see that. <laughs> there goes Schwartz in his upmobile. He sure loves that horn. You know, in my new Essex, I've got an electric starter. Now I don't have to crank. We can travel from New York to Los Angeles by train in only three days. And we've got a house full of new electrical servants. Mr. Edison sure added life to our home. Go there, you blow a fuse. Crap, that's the third one this week. I buy fuses by the case. Uh oh, and I blow the whole neighborhood again. Easy, Rover. Jimmy, hurry up with that fuse. Shucks. Every time he has company, he blows a fuse. And guess who always has to change it? I heard that, young man. I heard that. Oh, well, that's more like it. John, yours is the last costume I've got to finish before the great starts. Sarah's Ladies Club is responsible for our town's 4th of July celebration tonight. She's got us all roped into performing in their program, and I... decided we're going as George and Martha Washington, dear. Oh, the father of our country. <laughs> That's a role that really fits me. 
You know, I'm I, so glad we installed an electric light fixture here on the porch because it's just too darn hot to be sawing inside. Yes, Sarah. You know, next year I'd like to go as Benedict Arnold. And Wait I, until you see what I've got planned for the fireworks show tonight. <laughs> Robert, don't interrupt while Sarah's interrupting. And guess who volunteered to choose the music for the program? I did, Pop. Listen to this. <laughs> You know, with our new Crossley radio set, we can get news and big time entertainment from all over the country, even Pittsburgh. Some are starting to arrive downtown for a spectacular Fourth of July parade and fireworks event tonight. Mayor Beaver feels about. Oh, Patricia? Yes, Father. Better get a move on. The radio says folks are arriving downtown. Do I really have to go? Well, oh dear, if that happens, you'll always have that torch you can carry for him. <laughs> Calm down, Rover. I was only kidding. By the way, we have indoor plumbing now. Oh, boy, that's really great on cold nights, especially for our perennial house guest, old Uncle Orville. <laughs> Uncle Orville's taken over the coolest spot in the house, of course, and he's rigged up a real clever contraption. He calls it air cooling. <laughs> Too bad he's not reading the help one of ads. No privacy at all around this place. Sorry, Orville. You know, considering all the... Oh, coming, Martha, as I was saying. Considering all the conveniences we now have, I'll say that we're really on easy street these days. It just can't get any better. Just goes to show that there's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow Shining at the end of every day there's a great big beautiful tomorrow and tomorrow's just a dream away man has a dream and that's the start he follows his dream with mind to mind and mind It's another Halloween here in the fabulous 40s. Everything is better than ever now. And we've got some amazing new wonders around the house to prove it. For instance, our refrigerator holds more food and ice cubes. And thanks to our automatic dishwasher, oh, I don't have to dry the dishes anymore after supper. Gives Rover and me more time to enjoy our evening stroll together. <laughs> Later, boy. Oh, and here's something else that's new. I just heard a new term today on the radio. Fella says, we've got something now called the rat race. Did you ever hear that one? It sure describes my life. I'm involved in something now called commuting. I drive into the city for work all day and then turn right around and drive all the way back. And the highway is crowded with fellow rats doing the same thing. That's what they call progress here. <laughs> Yeah, I guess she's right. But we do have television <laughs> when it works. Gives you something to do after you come home. I kind of like it, you know? A guy named John Cameron Swayze gives us all the news. And then they have all this singing and dancing. A lot of fluff, but it's fun. You know, I predict the day when millions of people will learn Latin and Greek sitting in front of their TV sets. I will wait the next. Yes, a new age of electronic civilization is upon us. Hey, Dad, what do you think of my jack-o'-lantern? Oh, oh, boy, that's scary. That's because I'm using my beautiful sister Patty's picture for a model. <laughs> no, Rover. Jim, Rover appreciates your joke. Now, you're always kidding poor Patty. She's certainly prettier than either of you. Oh. You hear that? My daughter Patty is using that old exercise machine she rescued from the attic. It was all the rage in the 20s. Grandma, of course, had to have one. 
Didn't work then, doesn't work now. <laughs> Consistent at least. Makes a lot of noise and blows fuses. self-craze these days. We're remodeling our basement of something called a, a rumpus room, and we're looking forward to a few rumpuses, I'll tell you, as long as they don't get out of hand. John, this papering is getting yeah. out of hand. I could use a little help. Now, Sarah, didn't I set up that clever automatic paint stirring machine for you? Yes, John, you're a genius. Of course, this will ruin my food mixer. Not that you'd care. Oh, good old Sarah. Always the last laugh. Oh, you and your progress. That paint mixer of yours just sloshed paint across my rump. A rumpus, a room. <laughs> How do you like that? I always say if you're going to be married, marry a girl with a sense of humor. Well, it's time to move on. Let's cheer up Sarah by singing our song. Come on, everybody. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow Shining at the end of every day There's a great big beautiful tomorrow and tomorrow's just a dream away. Man has a dream, and that's the start. He follows his dream with mind and heart. And when it becomes a reality, it's a dream come true for you and me. So there's a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful you can't see John. tomorrow. Just a dream away. Isn't it a pleasant holiday? I oh, don't turkey's in the oven, it's peaceful and quiet. Yes, 300 points, my best score yet. Well, it was peaceful until Santa brought that new virtual reality space pilot game. Your turn, Grandma. Let's switch the image over to the TV so the resident flying ace can show you how it works. Now, it's a little tricky. Just use your game glove to fly behind the other guy and blast him with your laser blaster. Laser blaster? Well, I'll give it a try. Take a look around, Grandma. You're in the ship. Feels like I'm really there. Okay, get ready. You're about to blast off. Here goes nothing. Whoa. All right, here it comes. Oh, you missed him. Hey, everybody. I'm done programming our new voice activation system. Now all our household items will do anything we tell them to do. Great. Tell a refrigerator to bring me a root beer. Well, it can't quite do that. But I'll show you something it can do. Tree lights, 30% off lighter. Oh, that's no big deal. Anybody can do that voice-activated stuff. Watch this. Rover, speak. The oven should respond to your voice commands now. Give it a try. Okay. Here goes. Temperature to 375. Temperature increase to 375. Look at that. It even talks back. Reminds me of certain people I know. <laughs> yeah, right, Dad. You gotta lose them, Grandma. Bang to the right. Remember Dad's turkey last year? <laughs> yeah, that thing really smoked up the place when it burned, didn't it? We ended up microwaving frozen pizzas. Well, no need to worry about the turkey this year. Not with an oven that will do anything your father tells it to do. Oh, good shot. Did you see that? Dad, Grandma's up to 550 points. Did you say 550? Hey, she's getting the hang of that thing. I can't believe all the new gadgets they've got now. You know, in my day... Oh, they... no. You're not going to tell us about the old days when you didn't even have a car phone. Hey, Trish, for a while we didn't even have a house phone. Not to mention laser discs and high-def TV. Everything's automated today, including... Well, including that. No privacy at all around this place. Sorry, Orville. Anyway, you guys don't know how good you got it nowadays. 
You know, my grandpa told me the very same thing when I was a kid. Take that, you nincompoop! Hey, check it out, Dad. Grandma's up to 975 points. Wow, 975. <laughs> Flying Ace now. Oh, that's two out of three, Grandma. Later, kid. Boy, that was fun. What will they think of next? Who knows? We've got a whole new century waiting for us out there. Yeah, and maybe sometime in the new century, your father will learn how to talk to our oven. Well, maybe by then ovens will read our minds. But hey, as long as we're all here and happy and together for the holidays, who cares if I burned our Christmas turkey? I do. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. Someday everything's going to be so automated, you won't ever have to cook another Christmas turkey again. Santa's <laughs> <laughs> a great big beautiful tomorrow, shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow, and tomorrow. Thank you for joining us on Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. We hope you've enjoyed this tribute to the 1964 Carousel of Progress from the New York World's Fair. Please gather all of your personal belongings and exit through the doors located at the back of the theater. Have a great big beautiful day. And remember, tomorrow is just a dream away. All right. That was for Steven and Crystal. Timothy Rainwater is welcome. He has to take down that Christmas tree. It, uh, there's a lot of stuff in there that needs to be updated, but there's a lot of cool hidden treasures, and I knew about the four cats. I've all, we've shown the four cats before. Um, anyways, welcome to everybody that came in during that. Uh, how old is that dog? The dog is, uh, what is it, 1970 something? It's an old dog, especially in dog years. Thank you guys. Thank you, Tim Rimple. Hello. Okay. Let's go. Let's just walk this way. Joe Galeazzi, welcome in. Leon and Cheryl. Everything needs to be updated or replaced. So you have your choice, Carlos. Get rid of it or update it. Which would you rather happen? Tim Weiskup, welcome. Noel Ash, hello. Ooh. You know, a Gaston cinnamon roll. Sounds pretty amazing, but I think they closed at 6 o'clock. You know what? We'll go check it out. Why not? Because I haven't had dinner yet. Daryl Dixon, hello. Welcome. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. Pino Pete, hello sir. I wish. <laughs> I wish. Uh, you can't do the country bears, guys. Darn it, because they're closed. <coughs> Got Tron and uh, Space Mountain. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, if we were if Country Bears was open and we did Carousel Progress, Country Bears, oh there's ice cream. And uh Antiki Room. Which I don't, I can, it's been a while. I don't know how Team Room is going to hold up. We're going to find out. 600 of you here, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. No, 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 no. I said, Crystal, I said everything eventually has to either be replaced or updated. And that ride 
is in desperate need of one of the two. I saw all the comments about John's hair and all that. <laughs> Carlos. Uh, Jerry G, welcome. Scott Fitzgerald, hello, welcome. <laughs> Happy, Friday. Happy Fridays means we're off of work. I have a very early flight tomorrow, so... I mean, I'm not off work, but it's going to be different for me because I get to travel, so... And I like traveling. Jim McGowan, welcome in. <laughs> they did update he's wearing new clothes and new hair. <laughs> that is true. But it needs a bigger update than that. Jeez. 35 minutes for this uh, speedway. We're not going to do that. Let's work our way. Back here. I don't know if we're going to be able to... Uh, I can't tell who's with what part of here. A few crisscrossing. Smiling politely, welcome in. It's just... There we go. My family is planning a trip down in June for uh, my niece's graduation, both of my niece's graduation. Wendy B, welcome. Or your car, welcome in. Something else I've been getting into that you guys will, if you're interested in, you can see shortly. Oh, that guy just, <laughs> I think just ran him. I don't know if you heard the noise. That was a rear ending right there. Uh, Craig Siegel, welcome in. Dar from South Florida, welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, I, I've gotten into uh, pour painting. <laughs> Not pour like inexpensive, but like acrylic pour painting where you, you know, you pour and manipulate, you pour the paint onto the canvas and you manipulate it with different additives, um, things like that. So, yeah, there's that coming soon. Each one of those is very unique because anytime you pour the paint and move it around, just like tilting the pat and the stuff and putting stuff in it, it's never going to be the same. Uh, Debbie, uh, Diane Disney, hello. Welcome. Crystal K says, oh. She's talking to Xanlax. 75 more days. Well, my parents are, are towards the end. They got like 90, 90 something days. I think it's going to be closed, but we'll go over here and try to see. Sharon Powell only has 23 days. Very nice. There they went. I missed them. We don't generally come this far over here for uh, Magic Kingdom days because how early we get on over here. It's getting very windy. Will my parents stream with you? Yes. Yes, they will. And I left my jacket in the car. Ugh. Yeah, 17 days plus a few. 142 days, 150 days. Dat Mouse says, can you say hi to Libby? Well, hello, Libby. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Samantha Lowe, it's over till eight, Sam says. You go show you guys the best, best thing on property. There's probably no way we can get in there to eat. Joe, welcome in. Thanks for being here. <laughs> so, yes. P O U R pour. Pour it onto the canvas. There's all kinds of like uh, mediums that you got to use to add. You add paint with, like some some people use recipes that use. And yes, they're called recipes. They'll use four different uh, mediums plus the paint to get to get another. So I'm working. Goofy's gal, welcome in. But the results are fantastic, so we're gonna try it. Greg J says, Tom Billy, hello. Greg J said, 67 days till you retire. Well, congratulations. You're gonna stay in the new cabins at Fort Wilderness. Oh, that's awesome. I've been in there, never stayed, but I've been in there a couple times. They're awesome. All right. Is 
fair, there's not even a line, I don't think. Maybe we'll get in here, we'll get a spot, we can chat for a little bit. I'm getting yelled at for getting a cinnamon roll. Oh, I think so, Nancy. 147 days to winner's launch for Ghost Host. Nice. <laughs> I heard pouring chocolate milk on your keyboard is fun too. Yeah. Let's not. Okay. Well, we're out of forks there. Here we go. Fork, knife, and napkins. Oh, there's a lot of empty spots here. Or like in here anyways. All right. Team in the whole world. LSU mom, welcome Emily. Hope you're well. Bathroom, bathrooms are out that door. Yep. All right, one sec, guys. There's a lot of people coming in now, grabbing seats. Hopefully we can get one. Felt the need to cut over in front of us, apparently. So we'll slide over here. Mary Kerwood, welcome. Jay Nashville. Hello. Here and sit, and people can join us if they want to. It's really dirty. <laughs> Very dirty. Okay, luckily I got napkins. Just give me one second before I put you guys down. Okay. Put you down here. Go ahead and show you this thing first, too. So, there it is. It looks kind I know it doesn't look like it here. It looks smaller. This looks way smaller than it used to look. But uh, it used to be bigger than this. But it's still pretty good. Pretty good size. Bigger than I need it to be, I guess. There it is. Hello, it's me. Welcome in. Producer Preston, what's up, buddy? All right. Get you guys situated here. Uh, nope, wrong way. 
video. What's up, guys? Oh, my mom's sent me pictures. Mom and dad are here. Thank you, mom and dad. Welcome. I look like I'm a little disheveled mess here. Like a uh, mess, you know. Got a lot going on. All right, so what I do is I eat this thing, and then um, and then I pour it. Uh oh, get a poor connection here. We're good now. We're back. So I I try to eat this the top half, and when I get halfway down, I pour the extra icing on. And we've got a. <laughs> Greg J sent a twenty dollars PayPal. It says cinnamon roll. Thank you so much, Greg. Appreciate that. I'm getting yelled at for eating cinnamon rolls, but at the same time, other people say get cinnamon rolls. Thank you, Greg J. Appreciate that very much. And, and, and thank you, Chris. Just sent it to me as well. Just got it, buddy. B and P, welcome. Um, and my mom says. Oh wow, this is my niece's poor painting. So that was Abby's uh, when she did it, so good to know. Tommy Amazing Walkman. <laughs> you know, oh man, look at this. I'm gonna take a look at this real quick, hang on. So I ripped this open. And look inside this, this gooey, caramelly insides are so nice. And look how flaky it is. That, guys, is how you do a cinnamon roll just like that. It's amazing. All right, let me flip you back around again. cinnamon and gooeyness. Better cut that half. It's not going to make it. Tyler Silva, yesterday was Palm Sunday, yep. Easter is this Sunday. Robin Oscar, welcome in. It is served warm. <laughs> Doug and Don Disney, welcome. Yeah, the kid's not going to be kids. <laughs> It's not doing too well. Look, just look how. I don't know what's going to come across. Let me dip it. Into all the gooeyness. Just look at this. How incredible that thing is. Very flaky, very moist. Ryan Walkman. It's 
Sounds like the sequel to sci-fi. Yep. But I will come back here. <laughs> so. All right. Devour this thing. We'll head over. I don't know, we'll see what we run into on the way, but we'll, we'll make our way over to Tiki Room. See if we can get in. I don't know how the stream's gonna hold up. But we'll try. What's that say? I don't know. <laughs> I don't care how sick Tommy is, we're not canceling this trip. Yep. Get the cinnamon roll, guys, and it's seven bucks. I mean, seven bucks is a lot of money, don't get me wrong. But for Disney prices and what you get and the amount of food you get, it could, like, this is an entire breakfast. Share it with somebody. Good deal. It is a sugar rush. For sure. And you don't have to get the extra icing. I just do, because usually the cinnamon roll can get a little dry on the bottom. This one's not that way. Um, and if it does, that icing really helps moisten it up. Okay, well, Kid Eater is gone or is better? One of the two. Tanya, welcome in. Nicole, say hello. Either way, kid had a good call. Uh -oh. Now grandpa. Grandpa's not doing well. <laughs> I got my, got my shield barrier up. It protects me. This thing is a mess. So, who's got a trip coming in less than 30 days? I saw some of you did. How many people have trips coming within the next 30 days? Angela Minta, hello. Sorry, I'm not giving you the reception that, um, that Dad Builds does. It takes too long. And mom and dad, everybody are saying hello. Um, what did she Wilson said, where's the pepper? Not on this. You could always bring uh, some pecans or walnuts. Um, I don't like either. I like it without it, so. David Coons, welcome. Thank you. Yes, we were at E.L. Bob's on Thursday. You guys missed it over on Corey's channel, Corey Meets World. <clears throat> and then coming up on, I think it's June 1st, it's a Saturday. Um, uh, Tanya, we'll be praying for you. Nathaniel Bellis, what's up, buddy? Thanks for being here. Uh, Nathaniel, I found the pineapple in the garage. I'll get it sent out to you. Nick Young, hello, welcome. You know, pecans are you. I am here, Chris. Dell says, see you in 30 days. That'd be awesome. Betty Jane says, 27 days. And Joel Shaw says, hoping for September. Good luck, Joel. Table's not the most stable. I figured you did, Chris. The center of this thing is always the best. One more view for you guys. 
It's all flaky, fall apart. That's the center. Very center at the very bottom. So good. Leon, I'm sure the cinnamon roll is incredible. I probably shouldn't have gotten it. Nicole was right, but I wanted it. Actually, I had zero ambitions of getting it. So somebody in the chat said, go to Gaston's and get the cinnamon roll. I was like, okay. You gotta give the people what they want, right? Either or Nathaniel, however you want it, buddy. Lean to you, We built, will be at 1900 Park Fair with Carlos. He brought me another chair. Now I have eight. Tom Daly says we'll be there in 54 days. I would, Nicole. Depends what was on the bottom of it. <laughs> she asked me if, and if someone in the chat asked me to jump off a cliff, would I? Depends, are we base jumping? Are we diving into water? What are we going, what, what's the deal here? Steve, go get, no, Murph, <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm gonna walk it off tonight, Chris. Yeah, we're gonna be good. We're gonna walk to the Grand Floridian later, so there's that. Good shape. Plus, I gotta get up at 3 a.m. I usually go to bed at two, so you know that's gonna work. Monorail Molly, hello. Hope you are well. And Molly, tell your mom I said hi. One and dolphin are nice, very nice. Not really, not a lot of Disney IP there. Not really, you don't get the feel of like Disney necessarily in the hotel. I mean, they're right, you walk outside, you do, but uh, they're fantastic hotels. I would do the cool thing, yeah, depends on the situation. Gold South, what's up? Thanks for being here. <coughs> Alright. Most choked on some ice. I try to get them here every once every four weeks. Um, Epcot, with the concerts right now, are really taking up a lot of my time. Um, so, you know. All right, we're done. Let's uh, switch you guys around and go for a walk. Excuse me. 
One second, guys. Let's uh, exit here. Oops. All right, Mayor Chickman Hill. Hello. Yellow, yeah, yellows tonight. Not one of my favorites. So, excuse me. I didn't care about. Uh, can't go there every week. You know. I'd get bored with it. You'd get bored with it. So we do do we do do we do Epcot more during the concerts than we do normally. So we do have Crowder coming up in a few weeks, though. We have the dining package for that. We have the dining package for Simple Plan in May. Plus, we're gonna do a couple others in between. Is the Beast Castle. It used to be a great restaurant. It's not bad. But now it's prefix menu and the prefix menu is not near as good as what it used to be. For lunch there's Noah, hello, welcome. This is the beast is coffee. Oops. Alright. What else do we want to try to do here? Oh yeah, we're gonna make our way to Tiki Room. You guys haven't heard there's a couple news articles that have come out since last we streamed number one there is a new drone show coming to uh, Disney Springs that drone show I believe debuts May 24th which is a Friday so there'll be a new drone show at Springs on the 24th then the new Communicore building which is the new festival center at Epcot the one that still has the walls around it with a little outdoor lighting concert area whatever it is opens on june 10th i think it is june 10th or 12th yeah we're gonna go we're gonna go by and see uh the bayou adventure while it's light so we can we'll get that on the way over to uh to the tiki room you can smell her magic i wish i could take you in there that's an awesome show i can't do that though i'll get in trouble guys looking like that yeah so springs used to have the drone show i don't know if i ever saw it i cannot remember obviously wasn't living down here back then but i was coming here i don't remember the drone show but i heard it was fantastic there's lots of uh news articles and you know Braden from Mickey Views, one of my buddies, he does a great job with that kind of stuff. He's got a video out on it, so there's plenty to look up if you want to see more information about the drones. You could ride Small World, but I know it'll lag. And I'm already doing Carousel Progress, Tiki Room, some of these other ones, so if we have time, we'll come back. It's also out here still, so 30 minute wait. Bubbles. All right. I like the Rapunzel area, wish they would do more with it. How old is Mickey Views? He looks 14. Uh, you know, he's coming up on 30. A few years. But yes, he does look 14. All right. Disney Pooh Head, welcome. Lots of people. Yeah, it's busy here. We're making the best of what we can. 
Oh, you know what? The Liberty Bell's probably gone for the day. It's 7 o'clock. Dang it, we should have done that. Should have rode the Liberty Bell. Look at all these people coming. Good night, Carlos. Have I ever been in a puzzle tournament? Um, not like professional ones. Because like inside. But yes, I have done like local stuff, school, did them in school, things like that. But I would not be opposed to doing them professionally. There are bubbles everywhere, and when the wind blows, they blow like crazy. All right, let's go hurt Chris's wallet here. On the way too, we'll show the pins, the new pins that are out. And yes, the brown that flows through the streets is to represent the uh, real time period in that they didn't have bathrooms. So they used to stand up in their windows and throw the buckets of poo and, and wetness into the street. And that's what this brown streak uh, represents because it's as real as they can get without making it disturbingly gross. Wish they'd bring back the real diamond horseshoe, not the one that's operating as Liberty Tree Tavern. This used to be a all you care to eat, family style brisket and pulled pork and all kinds of goodness in there. Not the same anymore. Not since COVID. So. I ate in there with Patrick and his family one night and it was like storming so bad outside. It was, we lost power inside there. I've never seen Disney lose power. Libby Donovan, welcome in. All right. <clears throat> Let's go over here into the Frontier Trading Post. Then we'll head back to Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Oh, it does look different. They still have, wow, that's impressive how fast they did that. I know the structure is already there, but it's still impressive how much they've done in just a few weeks. Most of it's just a new paint job, but still. <coughs> I'll never walk through the same again. Yeah. yeah you got to watch out for that. Just check the bottom of your shoes before you leave. All right, let's see what the new pins are. One second. Tony Shrapnaga, welcome in. Here's the limited release ones. Get those. Get the Valentine's Day pin still here somehow. The Awaju, if you've not seen the series yet, I haven't seen it yet. If anybody has, let me know if it's, I mean, I'm gonna watch it. The Awaju, and then they get the Bi Coastal Adventure set. I have the Space Mountain one. I didn't realize it was going to be a big series. Now they've got some uh, some other ones. An Easter pin. And then the Pixar pins. They have this really cool Pinocchio pin down here. Magical Wishes. And over here, we have Celebrate Today. So you got Find a Rainbow in 2024, Hat Day, uh, Topsy Turvy Day. Shaggy Dog 65th anniversary. Look at that power line from a uh, Goofy movie. That's cool. Got these. Bespoke Magic Welcome in. What's this? What are those spring rides? <laughs> Is that a genie back here? I think it's a genie, Oswald, and Donald. Ice cream. I love this set here. These are the Tales of the Sword. Really cool. I know I want to collect that set, but you know. And then I still want that set I haven't done. You know, there's all kinds of sets. And then now this one, the parades. So, new Star Wars pins are these right here. They are limited edition pins with uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Sidious. 
Emperor Palpatine, their lightsabers. So the lightsabers and this are the pins. This this middle section here is like a little ribbon that dangles. There you go. Oops, bubbles. Let's go to the country bears. Oh, wait, we can't. It's closed. There it is, though. Still here. Mike. Uh, is it Mike Macedo? Hope I said that right. If not, I apologize. Uh, new Star Wars prints can be found at Epcot, the Nemo merch store. Nice. I've not been back to the uh, Nemo merch store in a long time. All right, guys, here comes Splash Mountain. Oh, I'm sorry. Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Definitely looks different. I almost ate at Pecos Bills tonight because I know they're going to change it and I don't want them to. I'm hoping they give me some time. But tacos are messy. I don't want to eat those on stream. What is Bobble Bar Jewelry, Disney Jewelry? MK does need more benches and seating in general, for sure. But there you go, guys. It looks different. It's like totally different. They added some greenery, painted all the other stuff, added some uh, some flowers at the top. The walls are supposedly getting ready to come down. Is there water in this again? There is. The water is flowing. Water is flowing in the, uh, there's your, I guess there's your music too. Kind of wish you were testing again, but I don't see any water flowing down the, down the thing. There you go, Tiana's Foods. Let's see if I can zoom in from here. If you can see what it's going to look like or not. There you go, still got scaffolding up. Still working. I do know they had uh, cast member testing. There's no water coming down right now. There's no water right there. So, you know, it's there. There you go. Tiana's Foods. All oh, these walls are supposedly coming down pretty soon. Um, I don't know for sure. It's a rumor. Let's see if we can get any better view. But like even the walls over here are nicer. The the uh, this wall here with the grass. Tiana's Foods. Turn neighbors into fine friends. Tiana's Foods. Tiana's Foods. Don't forget, book your bands for Mardi Gras season. The only way to get what you want in this world is through hard work. Look at the coloration on this. They've, they've definitely painted these, made these a little, a little nicer, more vibrant. Let's go around the other side here. See what it looks like down here. The window's been boarded up. Hmm. What does it look like over here? It kind of looks like Splash Mountain over here still. You still got the same, the twigs and the sticks to the logs coming off. The trees, the windows are boarded up so you can't see inside them. That's about it though. This one section right here is not done. Everything else back here is. Karen Cook, hello. Dana Murphy, welcome in. That was a completely no covered up sneeze. Simba 2, welcome buddy. Oh, I've missed you so as well, Matt. There you go. So they just have to finish this. This section over here, which is not really part of the ride. It's like the, the housing building. It will all fade quickly, but for now, it's here. 
this back in, this is the line for Big Thunder. Besides all the way in there, it's all the way out here, snaking. Yeah, look, colors are pretty nice right now. They used to put up scaffolding on this too, and they would just repaint this every every few months. <clears throat> but right now, that's what we get. Okay. Let's make our way over to uh, Tiki Room. See if we can get in there. We're going to. There's almost 700 of you here. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna hold up. So just refresh, be patient. We'll try to get the, uh, the Wi-Fi versus signal mixing good. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, see there's water here. That's a good picture. Screenshot of the castle in the distance. Big Thunder Mountain is 80 minutes. Yeah, no thanks. Rally Tom, what's up buddy? Got to hang out with Tom at the uh, Players Club. In one of the grandstands on the 17th hole. Tom's an awesome guy. Get to golf with him again here shortly. <clears throat> Thanks for being here, man. All right, let's go. Uh, let's get on. See if we can get on Tiki Room. And hopefully, the stream holds up for you. I'm gonna try to sit in the back because I don't know. I know it's around. You sit around, but I'm trying to sit in the back row because I don't know where to be picturing, you know, where to point the camera at. Brittany Horancy, welcome in. Alicia Francesca, welcome. Happy Monday. Exit only. You ever look at the names of some of these? buildings some ammo up there no big deal some random stuff the bears will come out and stand up here well they used to I don't know they're still going to <clears throat> we're trying to we're gonna try to do it gonna try to do tiki room If it holds up again, I may have to switch. So again, if it lags, refresh, be patient. We'll be right back with you. <laughs> Gina Erie, welcome. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, there's Tiki Room right in front of us. We don't come over here too often because it does lag. We'll see if we can do this and you know what, we'll just, We'll just take a look and see what the time is. Maybe we haven't done pirates in forever either, but I, I'm sure it's gonna be a long wait for pirates. TL says, are there any beignets here? I heard they are. Dougie, Walter Grams. What's up, buddy? Hope you're well, sir. TL, the, there's supposedly a cart here that serves the, uh, the beignets and they're not as good as Perlines from what I've been told. All right, next show is in 12 minutes. 12. Let's go in. Pirates is only 50 minutes? Well, that's good. Hi there. Is this the back row? Is this the back row? They're all okay? Okay. Well, look. Well, now I kind of don't want to be up here with all the views up there. There you go. Oh, look at this fire. Oops. Sorry. There you go. A little tiki action. Get you a picture or two. <laughs> Sebastian the Crab. I haven't done it in a while, but what my point was, 
Um, my point was this. I know you can sit anywhere you want, but is, I thought the this would sit you around the outside. I didn't know if, I want to be closest to the outside when I get in, which I think is this one. And somebody just asked me, who is that? Ben Yates here at the Golden Outpost. What's my favorite hotel on property? It's the Polynesian, Brittany. William T. said, you see Joe Rohde is working for Disney and Imagineering. I saw he's going in as a legend. I did not hear. Uh, hello, everybody, and welcome to the Enchanted Tiki Garden. At this time, we have eight more minutes until those doors open up. Eight minutes. But in the meantime, I'd like to introduce you to some of our local Tiki Goddesses here. To the right of that waterfall, you're going to find the statue of Tina, the goddess of rain. And on the left is Pele, goddess of fire and volcanoes. To the right of that waterfall, you're going to find the statue of Tina, the goddess of fire and volcanoes. Now, these goddesses get very easily angry, so we have things that cannot sit, stand, or climb on the handrails while you wait. And those smoking plants, because only Pele has permission for that around here. Follow everybody, and remember the next show starts in just eight more minutes. He's doing some mentoring of Imagineers. Yeah, and he's going in as a Disney legend right now. He finally made it to Disney legend status. The fact that he's coming back and working, uh, willing to be with Disney again, uh, is speaks great news to people. Disneyland fan, what's up, buddy? You guys are looking through. Is this what a bamboo prison would look like? Tony, we're doing classics because that's all we can get on. Fireworks are in an hour, and then we're gonna walk over and see the chocolate Easter eggs over in the um, the, the the Grand Cottage. Is that what it's called? Over at um, Grand Floridian. Pepperoni, welcome in. Look at this. Now we're in the jungle. She'll take a bamboo prison. Disney Nerd 30, welcome. There's people back here. That was weird. Well, this is a good time. As many as I can do, anyways. To do a weather watch. It's gorgeous here right now. The wind is blowing a little windy. It is, um, you bet he'll be part of the Animal Kingdom Expansion. I, I hope so, for sure. Uh, the weather here is a gorgeous 72 degrees. Feels like 72, nice breeze, cloud cover. What's the temperature where you guys are at? Let us know as we get ready to ride the Tiki Room. That's not really riding it. You're just gonna go sit down and watch some birds talk. You got till the door is open, then I gotta stop where we're at, so get them in fast. Currently 51 for Tim Rempel. It's 39 where Tiki Man Fan is. 76 da uh, in Florida for Disney's Adventures. Alan Perol is 17 here. It's 16 inches of snow on Saturday. That's ridiculous. That's why I moved here. 53 in Virginia for Angel Lamenta. 49 in Northeast Pennsylvania for Ghost Host. Um, 51 in Rain in Wisconsin for Badger Backer. 36 in New Hampshire for Disney Dojo, Doreen and Jeff. 48 in Coal Township, Pennsylvania for Leon Cheryl. 54 in Iowa for Stephen K. Drew B says 70 in Jacksonville, Florida. 50 in Sunny in the Burbs for Mike 88 NYC. 54 in Kenosha, Wisconsin for Disney Bluehead. 45 on Long Island for Alley Cats. 74 for uh, LSU Mom. Down in LSU country. 41 uh, today, better than yesterday for Tina McNeil. Delaware, I don't know, but it's beautiful and sunny for Sebastian Crab. 65 in Cleveland for Brittany. Foreign C, 60 in Plymouth, California for Disneyland fan. 62, cloudy and rain, starting windy for Jan S. Disney. Um, Alan Pearl says Maine, 28 degrees, or 28 miles an hour south wind, 75 degrees in South Louisiana for Datmau. Chris B, 66 in Indianapolis. I just moved from Indiana a couple years ago. Uh, 50 in Oklahoma City for Catherine Shortly. Adam Mat uh, Marcel says 65 in Mishawaka, Indiana. I know where that's at, too. 
Uh, Mar Maria Gioino says 52 in northern New Jersey. 49 in Maryland for Paul Angle. 65 in Las Vegas for Samantha Preciado. Hope I said that correctly. 50, uh -oh, 51 in New Jersey for Pool Girl. 71 in Cincinnati for Angie. 67 in Bloomington, Indiana for Vicky Gillespie. Hang on a second. You got tornado threat going south. That's not good. New Orleans. 54 in Raleigh, North Carolina for Greg J. Uh, 60 in Breezy in Dayton, Ohio for Mr. Magoo. 63 in St. Louis for William T. Second home, 72. Tim Rimble says. 62. Oh, this thing over here is doing something. Oh, let's do it some. Look. I'm usually not in there. I'm usually not in uh, in this uh, this ride in this line. I'm usually just wait till it's ready and then I just walk in. So I don't usually see that show. There's one rope that just dangles across all of these things. Let's see. 
feels nice and I can feel the air conditioning coming out of this room. Uh, Julie C2, Cy, welcome. Thanks for being here. Oh, here she comes. Hi there. Hey, you. Hi, I guess we just go. Be a mad dash. Everybody's running to get in. I want to sit in the back, which is way back here. Right here. I don't know if that's going to have anything. You know what? Let's just sit right like in here. Right here. I don't know what's going to happen. <coughs> Hang on, guys. No signal. Wait, it's coming back. And it's going away. Nope, that got worse. Maybe. <laughs> I have no signal, guys. You know what? Let's go this way. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Okay, I think we're good now. So I... I had to get, uh... I had to get someplace where the Wi-Fi picked up. I started started across there and then I moved over to there and I moved over there and I finally got here and now it's now I got the Wi-Fi so. <laughs> Disney Baker welcome in Hello. Where's Jose? Jose! I thank you so much for sleeping, so I'm gonna need your guys to help to wake him up. On the count of three, I want everyone to say, wake up Jose as loud as you can. Ready? One, two, three. Wake, wake up, up, Jose! Oh, there he is. What is this, senorita? My siestas are getting shorter and shorter. Oh, look at all the people. Welcome to Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. Hey, Michael, mi amigo, pay attention, it's showtime. So it is, and what darling people I have sitting under me. Pierre, you rascal, you, let's put on the show. Mon ami, I am always ready, as you say, to put on the show. <whistles> oh, pardon, madame, that reserve is for my good friend, Fritz. Ah, to leave, I almost fell out of my number patch. Glad to see you all aboard, uh, your or... <laughs> Wherever you are, my goodness, you're on stereos. We better start the show rolling. Wait, wait. We forgot to wake up the glee club. My. Yeah. 
Kids are not having it, they're all just screaming. That was interesting. Uh, I don't remember half of that. I don't think I've ever sat right next to one of those little tiki guys moving. Uh, it was different. Disney fa Miss Disney fan, welcome. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and get rid of the Wi-Fi. Okay, should be back. Wi-Fi is gone. Hopefully nothing happened on your end. All the Liberty Bell's back, but again... I think it ran its last uh, last voyage at seven o'clock. Okay, let me look at. Uh... Something smells really good. I don't know what it is. Okay, let's see here. We are 60 minutes to meet Mickey. We're not going to do that. 
Everything's very long. I guess we can go fight our way through the crowd to the front of the park to get ready for the fireworks in a half hour. We can maybe do some shopping along the way. Kathleen Stalford, hello. Welcome. Could do Hall of Presidents. Depends on the... You know what? I don't know. I don't want to get stuck in the middle of the fireworks in the middle of this area. So we're going to skip uh, Hall of Presidents this time. Maybe we'll do it next time. Joseph Ippolito, welcome. Hi. Here's the Liberty Bell. Rye Guy, welcome, sir. She's standing at the Liberty Bell, so at least we're not allowed to go that way. I don't know why she's standing there. Oh, she's a photographer. Okay. Let's go. Ye old Christmas shop. Let's see what's in here. Hello. Hello, how are you? Very well, thank you. There we go. Alright, so we have the Nightmare Before Christmas. 30th celebrations, really? Here's the uh, diffuser. Is there a little bright? Diffuser is $59.99. I have this puzzle. I did this puzzle. Put it together already. It was kind of fun. 30 bucks, I think. Yeah, $29.99. You got, uh... Oh, this is, um... This is Oogie Boogie's roulette thing. It's a chip and dip thing. That's oh, and it moves. <laughs> it's weird. That's cool. That's a really cool chip and dip set. I wonder how much that is. Let's see. That is forty nine ninety nine. Actually, that's not bad. It's very durable, very heavy. I like this. And then here's a count. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's a countdown calendar. For what? <laughs> I think it's for, oh, it's got all the months and it lights up. That's a big countdown. You could use this as your countdown to Disney World. Uh, $70. You just finished the Tangled Thomas King. There's multiple Thomas Kincaid uh, Tangled puzzles. Excuse me. Which one did you do? Amy Varnowski, welcome. They have the Christmas uh, train. Let me turn you guys down just a little bit. Taste the biscuit. Welcome in. All right. Let's go. Sneak through here. Hmm. Oh, this is different. Here's the new Disney Eats. <laughs> this. They're still trying to sell this stuff. Mm. Uh, Old Key West 94, Kim and Bruce Lawrence, welcome. So there you go. You have this. The Disney Eats ornaments. Those are $50. I still don't get this set, this series of items. There they are. By golly, they're going to try to sell all this stuff. I will tell you, the bookends, not the Chippendale ones that I want, the bookends from um, the last one, the 100th, where the, they were the Mickey feet, they're over at Character Warehouse for 20 bucks. Deborah, Reef Rada, welcome on. There they are. I like these munchlings, much of these things. 25 bucks for the Disney munchling ornaments. The bat one. You have this is the Mickey Mocha cookie cheesecake. Minnie was the holiday toffee pudding. 
You got, oh, look here. You got some more down here. Ugh, what do we got? Stitch, snowflake, cupcake, stitch. Pluto, <laughs> reindeer, rice, cereal, treat, Pluto. I like that one. That one's heavy. Got a bunch of them down here. You got Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore and who is that? Stitch. Just the, the full of the s'mores, Baymax s'mores. I love this one. Look at this guy. He's so cute. All right. All these are 25 bucks for the the um, the uh, munchling ornaments. Oh, was that glass? Oh, I don't think it's really glass, but it sounds like it. Cinderella slipper. That's actually really cool. How much of these? I'll just look. They're 34.99. So I think they're like a, a ceramic type thing. But they are um, Cinderella's slipper. It's pretty cool. And you have the Princess series. These are nice. These are. Here they are. So you have Cinderella, Tiana. We have Ariel, Jasmine, Aurora, Mulan, Rapunzel. I like these a lot. Who's this? Pocahontas? Yep. How much are these things? They come in a really nice box. Porcelain ornaments, $55. I had a feeling they were going to be pretty uh, expensive, but they're very, very high quality. Oh, look, it's even got our shoes. That is ridiculous. And it is, it, you can tell the difference in just feeling this one. That That is a different quality of, uh, of ornament. This one is... Moana in the Heart of Tafiti. I kind of wish it glued. If it lit up behind her, it'd be kind of nice. doesn't. You got Ariel in a mirror. Hello. Hello. Yeah, for $5 less than this, you can have a Oogie Boogie chip, uh, chip and Dip Roulette Wheel. Some of these are buy one, get one, excuse me, buy one, get one 50% off. The Disney 100 set. There's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I like this one a lot. Love this one. If it's got to find one that's been removed. This actually plays at Disneyland. Oops. Here's one. Where's the button at? Oh, right there. Okay, we're probably gonna cover it, but it plays uh, when you wish upon a star. You can personalize all your ornaments. And they have a whole section back there to personalize. Excuse me. Oh, I like these. Look at this. It's like Dumbo. It's got a peanut for Timothy Mouse and the feather. That's cool. How much of these things? What are these? Ornament collection. It just says ornament collection. That's a very generic. They are $34.99. That is a really cool ornament. So there's that one. Here's one for Chip and Dale. Hello, Steve. Yeah, it's I. Oh, you don't have to do that. You want to say hi? I'm assuming you want to say hi. Guys, look. It's I. I am very hot and sweaty. I landed like... An hour ago. Really? Hour. You just got here? Yeah, my flight landed wow. like 6.30 like UK, uh, Orlando time. Yeah. And then weirdly, the Uber only took 30 minutes, which was amazing. Really? For Orlando traffic. In traffic. And uh, other than that, I'm, I've got your uh, stream playing in the background. And then other than that, went to the room, dropped my bag, and now I'm here. Well, congratulations. Can I give you a hug? Yeah, absolutely. I was getting I'm ready so to. Sorry, I'm like, no, really you're fine. Excited. Guys, yeah, Sai's here. Hello to me. I'm very oh, thirsty. Yes. Everybody's saying hello to Sai in, in the thing. So, I'm literally like dying oh, hot and Guys, look. Sai was kind of, she brought us a water. Thank you so much. Cheers. I will follow wherever you're going. I do want to watch the fireworks. Though. So, okay. We're gonna, I was going to watch them from, you know what? Well, we could always watch them from, do you have a preference of where you watch them from? No. 
So I was going to watch them from outside the park and watch them, but you won't be able to see the reflections and stuff, but you still won't be able to see all the fireworks. But we can go to my reflection spot back here if you want to watch them from where... Yeah, it will just... can you see Tinkerbell from there? You can. Okay, that's, that's my main thing is Tinkerbell. It'll be in the distance, is that okay? That is absolutely fine. We can also try to... You know what? Let's do it this way. Um, I am just Excuse me. here for a relaxing that like... Because I was like, I need to adjust back to the uh, Orlando time. Uh huh. Oh, so yeah. They were like, stay awake as long as you can. <laughs> and I then woke, I woke up 4 a.m. UK time. <clears throat> I'm currently on 19 or 20 hours since oh, I wow. last was asleep. And I'm sorry if I look like a mess. You're fine. So we, can, we have a couple options. We can watch them from right here, which you can see Tinkerbell go across that way. Um, or we could try to go down the main street somewhere and see if we can get a spot. How busy was it when you were coming down? Um, actually, there were more spots near the back. There are spots the back, back here. Well, let's yet. go back there and try to find um, it then. But the front was full. Like the front, um, yeah. what do you call it, the central hub? The yeah, plaza? I'd rather be back closer to yeah. the back anyways. I, that would be fine with me too. Um, if you don't mind, I will probably be watching it all. Yeah, um, absolutely. You don't have to stay, but I will stay. No, no, I was going to... We were going to watch, I was just going to go outside the park and watch it, and then I'm going to go over to the Grand Floridian to look at the chocolate eggs, because they go away on Sunday for Easter. Oh, is that when they end? Yeah. So, but but no, I, I was going to watch the fireworks show, so I have no problem with that. How are you today? Can you talk uh, Are you it, well? I am well. Yes, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. I'm How long is the flight over? Um, so today I took a indirect flight. Oh. Which was, um, it had a stop in, um, do you guys call it a layover? Yep. Okay, it had a, a layover in, <laughs> sorry if I say it wrong, no. Newark, 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 New Jersey, New Jersey, yeah. and I was there for all of 12 minutes, wow, so, as in by the time I like rushed through security, dropped my bag, went through immigration, I had 12 minutes until it was time for me to board, wow, so I was very lucky, um, I also got pixie dust on my flight, that's awesome, okay, me to business class on Very my nice. London flight and then yeah I made it that's and I've awesome been really lucky since but well I'm here with you. oh no I dropped I'll, it I'll get it for you so thank you sorry I'm closer to the ground <laughs> <laughs> thank, you for you. thank you very much sorry that's all right, sir. all right hang on one oh, second guys you've been? You been all right I've been great it's good to see you I'm I didn't know you were coming in today oh. I thought I thought I was gonna miss you because I fly out tomorrow I'm going to North Carolina Is that far for work. Uh, it's about, uh, it's a few states. I mean, if I was to drive it, probably 10 hours where I'm going. Yeah. Um, but not not bad. It's about an hour and 50 minute flight or so. Okay. Just because the way we're going. That's nice. That's nice. No. Is that like a, a holiday? Or uh, work. Oh, work. Work. Yeah. Oh, okay. Training. Okay. I'm so sorry if I'm dead today. No, you're fine. I'm surprised you came out. You know what? I, I had it in my mind. I, I had a little challenge in my head today. That if I land at the airport and I'm out by and I'm at my resort by 7:30, I will come with my <laughs> That's great. And I was in my room by seven, so I had no excuse. Uh, Candy Mom sent a super chat dollar ninety nine says, <laughs> "Get that jet jet lag out of the way before I come." Steve. <laughs> I will yeah. Be Cynthia, <laughs> you know what actually, a big shout out to Cynthia because she's the reason I booked this trip. Really? Yes. So, do you want to hear a story time? Absolutely, I like story time. So the story time is, a couple of years ago when I first met you, yep. um, I was here at Coronado Springs Resort and um, Cynthia was coming on vacation to Disney and I told her, instead of... Oh, I <laughs> I tell you what, I don't miss this. Um, <laughs> yeah, this has been ridiculous today. Yeah, I told Cynthia that instead of her like paying for a room, just buy the ticket and she can stay with me because I had a, a double room with the uh -huh. two beds and it was just her and Reese and I'm obviously like, oh, if we're just girls, we can share. And then uh, it's come around full circle because she rang me up a little while ago and said, hi, Sai. I'm going to All Star Resorts. Do you want to come stay? That's awesome. And I literally booked my flight within about an hour or so. That's great. Uh, Nora, welcome. Uh, are we going that way? Which way do we go? Uh, do we don't have a choice. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm still learning. Yeah, so we got 20 minutes till it starts. That's why. I, I like being closer to the front because when it ends, everybody just rushes. So. That's true. I might stay behind here. 
here. That's fine. Um, I might ride one ride, maybe. Yeah, you get on something. It, it's open till it's 11 tonight, which is amazing. Yeah. It usually get during the summer. It'll, it'll wind up getting later, like 10 or 11 o'clock. So. So people are asking you how long you're here for. Uh, I'm here for two weeks and I leave on April the 7th. April the 7th. So Nora J is coming in next Thursday. I will see you if you are here. So, Sai will be here for two weeks. I am at Hollywood Studios so, tomorrow. She's at Hollywood Studios tomorrow. Okay. This got a little mad. <laughs> <laughs> All I did was walk to the Christmas shop. <laughs> <laughs> but we go near the back, is fine. Yeah. I don't mind. But the only problem I have is uh, I am five foot. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone else is not five Not, foot, yeah. So I have to like jump to see the fireworks, but it's alright. <laughs> They're in the air. That's what they I'm are in the air. They're in the air. Well, I'll tell you what, if it is busy back here and there's no room, I'll let you come back in. I'll go ahead and go out. Oh, yeah, but no, we'll just see. Just we'll just see. I, I appreciate it. Yeah, and I'll, I'll definitely get back up with you when I uh, get back. Are you, I'll be are back you on Friday. Oh, you're back on Friday. Yeah. I'll still be here for another week. Okay? Perfect. Uh, yeah, uh, Cynthia has all my reservations. Yeah. I have all of her reservations. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, I'm meeting up with Cynthia as well. So. Oh, then that well, means we could go. Yeah, skip behind somebody here. Oh, there's some spots right back there. Yeah, anyone who's short. <laughs> oh, there's a, the whole thing's open up back here still. Oh, yeah, lovely. Let's do that. Let's see if we can put you somewhere. I can stand anywhere. Pretty. Will you be able to see from here? I can see. So the one thing you got to watch out for. These tracks. Well, that, but don't, if you see people with children on the ground. Yeah. They're going to put them on their shoulders. <laughs> I, uh, can I ask? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is probably going to sound like a stupid question. Everyone in the chat is probably going to laugh at me. <laughs> can you tell them? Listen, yeah. <laughs> Listen. I've also been uh, waiting like you. Some people will say something. I, <laughs> I, I typically do not. Oh, no, I mean, you're like 10 feet tall. Yeah. So <laughs> but, um, yeah. The, the, Kevin said I should just put you on my shoulders. Then you think you'd be fine. <laughs> Tongue, so <laughs> no, fine. you're fine. Um, I will <clears throat> say a blanket hello to everyone that was saying hello to me earlier. Yes. You. So guys, if you'd missed her, this is Sai. She made it. She made, made it safely. It. I am on, uh, what, two hours sleep? Three hours sleep? Wow, that's crazy. We made it. We made it. Um, so, I didn't think I was going to make the fire. So <laughs> I apologize in advance. No, you're fine. Cry, so. Oh, that's, that's sure, quite yeah. all right. That's yeah. quite all right. <laughs> We've not seen them from here in a long time. I've not seen the fireworks from this spot. Is this close for you or far for you? Um, so, do you mean to come here or yeah. to like? Do you normally go out there or do you go? Um, I normally will. Well, I, I go from all of So, I have a reflection spot back by Big Thunder Mountain, clo okay. closer to there. I have the one by the Christmas tree shop. Okay. I like standing right here. Yeah. I also go like going on top of the contemporary and then Are right outside the train, the train station. Train station. Well, sure they, they blocked it off. I go outside. And they shoot off over the train station, right. but you can't see the castle fireworks. Oh, no, 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 yeah. So this is a great spot right, do to you watch. Want anything, like, no, I do not. I, I am great. Do Thank you, you very much. Uh, no, I'm good. But if you want to talk to people, I'll let you hold this. A if you'd like to, if you want to say hi to all, say hi to all the people that are saying hi to you. There you go. Look at that. We're now lower, people. Hello. <laughs> Actually, Psycam, this hi. is this is your host, Steve. <laughs> This, right, that, Steve. I'm going to ask you 50 questions while we're on. While we're on, no, I'm, I'm I'm taking over is your it, stream now. Is it 8:30 yet? No. <laughs> so, who's your favorite Disney character? Favorite Flynn Rider. Flynn. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Why Flynn Rider? I don't know. I've always it's always been my favorite since Tangled came out. So. Okay. Not sure why. I like the way he uh, his he, his uh, character was, just the way he acted and it, talked. So. Is it Eugene? Eugene Fitzherbert. Fitzherbert. Yes. I think uh, Pascal is a very underrated character in that film. I would agree. And I think the frying pan is the best weapon. Absolutely. If you could have one Disney snack for the rest of your life, Ooh. what would it be? These are the questions that people want to know. See, 
depends on what people qualify as a snack. Like any Disney food um, item, what would you? What was the one thing you would? I mean, I, I would probably take the cinnamon roll I had earlier. It, it's very. Oh, filling. the one from Gaston's. Gaston's. Yes. I have got that on my list to try. I just ate it. <laughs> oh my god. Ask for extra icing. Right. Or you need to give it to you. Okay. And, uh, sometimes you need it. Sometimes you don't. Is but it quite big? It's it's about that big and about that tall. Oh no! Wait! 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 It's, I'm too short for you. Hold on, it's here we go. That big, They're that, big uh, that wide. They put it on one of those little round plates, those little, whatever they are, four yes. inch plates. It's if you enough. could tell us a deep, dark secret of yours, we would want to know. Everyone in the chat is saying we want to know your deep, dark secrets. Are they? That is exactly what they're saying. They are saying that, I promise you. I don't have any deep, dark secrets. There must be one. No, the deepest, darkest secret I've told everybody already with oh. that I've been engaged twice. No way! No way! So, I know what the secret is. What is it? You're actually a part of the dark side. Oh, the, yeah, well, yeah, I guess that's <laughs> not a secret either. So. <laughs> and Jeff's your best friend. Jeff, Jeff is Jeff is a very <laughs> Jeff is almost family. So <laughs> he's as close to family as you can get. So. <laughs> and everyone's saying hello to you, by the way. Hello. And they said they love my accent. Your accent is great. I love British accent. Uh, it's like um. It's not a traditional London one. It's more like an Essex, like slang. It sounds like a very proper accent. Oh God, no! Have you not heard Dan Disney Dan speak? Oh, I heard Dan, yeah. Yeah, I'm very different to Disney Dan. <laughs> I'm like the slang you, part of it. You, you sound very elegant. Oh really? Yes. Oh God, <laughs> that's really good, guys. This is my view. This is how short I am. <laughs> Actually, no. This looks good. As long as no one. Oh, it's not bad. <laughs> Oh, everyone's saying si, si, si. I'll give it back to you now. Say bye bye to your host, Steve. Bye or hi. We, they say they all love you. Uh, I love you. They said they can understand me too. <laughs> that, that's, there you go. That is good that they can understand you. Takeover complete. I did that for Jeff one time, <laughs> and I ran away with his phone. You know, <laughs> uh, Brad, I am not a seafood lover, so that's not true. He's actually a seafood. They think I'm a seafood lover and I'm not. I hate seafood. Do you want me to take it for you? Let's go. I don't mind. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Sai is taking pictures for. Three, two, one. One more. Three, two, one. Got it. Thank you so much. Well, thanks, Brian. I appreciate that. So, great. Uh, if you could stand in front of me if you want, I might, the camera will be over no, you here. Yeah, I'm good. Like, si, well, si is literally like, there she is. <laughs> oh, wait. So. Uh, Cynthia actually gave me these ears, right? And, wait, where are they? They like them. What? What are those? Uh, they're from the 50th anniversary. Oh, nice. Uh, which I was here for. And she gifted them to me, and every time I come to Disney now, I wear them. They're, they're very nice. And also, if I get lost, everyone can find me. Yeah, just if you get them to blink every once in a while, blink twice if you're in trouble, <laughs> type, you know. Blink once for yes, twice <laughs> for no. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I is definitely fueled with no sleep tonight. Oh, God, yeah. Can you you're tell? You're going to sleep like a baby. Bubbles. Bubbles. I got hit in the face with a lot of them earlier, so they're they're everywhere back there. If I put my phone up and take a photo, am I blocking you? You're not blocking me. I'm sorry. Um, yes, I am. Um, that's not you. Nope. It's under Steve's world. I like your Winnie the Pooh top. I'm a Winnie the Pooh fan too. I saw your lounge. Oh, you like my jumper too. I love that. And then my little Pooh. That's it right there. Yep. Yep. You want to say hi? Of the artists, she has content on Main Street. We're gonna sing. Really? Yeah. Which one of the windows? Yeah. Or? So uh, when you, so um, when the content, when the when the uh, the projections go down Main Street, she is the she did the turtles. Oh, oh the projections. Yeah. She did the projections. That's awesome. What was her name one more time? Uh, Lauren Cardella. She's Lauren Cardella. Uh, Lauren, yeah. She's an artist with uh, live entertainment, and it comes right after Merida. All right, after oh, Merida. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Winnie's my favorite. Lauren Cardella. Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. He yeah, he's is. very good. He's very, he's my favorite. I've actually such a fan that I've booked Crystal Palace with him for oh. breakfast. 
and dinner, lunch, whatever you want to call yeah. it. Yeah. So I could see him twice. That's awesome. And then I'll probably queue up for him every day. Well, yeah, you got to. You I bought to. him honey. Yeah. And yeah, of I course. Bought him some chocolates. You bought it. You bought Wayne through honey oh and chocolates. God. I bought UK chocolates, and you're not going to be here, so I'll have to give That's you yours right. on Friday That's when fine. you're back. I bought like a four, five kg box. Everyone really. America's asking me for Cadbury's. Cadbury here is not Cadbury there. Your no, Cadbury is way better. Oh, I know. I bought the big box. So I'm giving it out to people every day. Aww. I've obviously left that in my room today because, hello, Jennifer. Well, yeah, you just got here. Yeah. You haven't even unpacked yet. So. I know. I have a question for you. Thank you. What's that? Do you have any uh, tissue? Or Do I have any here? tissue? If not, I'll go into a shop and Hold this off. real quick. Oh, yes. I might have a might have one in here. I don't know. Steve Cam. We're we back to the Steve cam. Steve cam. Oh, Brian, thank I you. Do. I do not. They're no oh, that's fine. Here. I might go grab one. Where would be the best place for me to grab a tissue? Um, the restroom. There's a restroom back there. Oh, that's fine. Oh, um, you know what? Wipe away the tears from my hands. Oh, that's what they're for? Tears? Tears. Happy tears. Um, crying my life. I'm sure they've got them in there. Oh, so if you just go, there's a cast member right it's there at the fine. cash register. That's what my sleeves are for. <laughs> David Bird, hello, welcome. If I do put my camera up to take a photo, am I blocking you? What's that? If I put my camera up to take a yeah. photo, would I block you? Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. I just don't want to block no, you. No, you're still, still <laughs> above you. <laughs> I know, but I can't. And Nancy Cardella, welcome, standing Thank behind you. me. Um, hello. Oh, is that the lady who... Do you want to say hi? Oh, oh, okay. I was going to say, that's the lady who shouted out Robert. Oh, okay. In just 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Oh, so funny. Sai is already emotional. So we haven't seen it from here for a while, but th since they brought this back, there's reflections that come down this, uh, down the buildings, and then there's reflections on the, the this as well. Tinkerbell will fly from here to here, and then all the fireworks are up there, so. Wow. I think the last time I was here, there was projections. Mm-hmm. And the time of year I came, there was snow. Snow. Oh, snow. snow. Yes, snow. snow. Yeah. So did you? You've seen the projections on those side buildings? Uh, I have, but I've, it's been a while. Yeah. And I've I've tried to avoid all the happily ever after streams. Yep. Because I'm like I want to watch it again for like yep. the in first person. time yep. in a long time. Um, like so, I know Tinkerbell comes out, and I yep. know roughly when. As long as it's not too windy, she'll yeah. come out. And do you think the best thing for me to do when the fireworks end is to get into one of those shops? Yes. Okay. One hundred percent, because all of this will be coming that way. Yeah, I'll probably. Can you go? Where are you gonna go to? Do you know? Anywhere. So if you're gonna go towards Adventureland, Frontierland, go that way. If you're gonna go towards Tomorrowland or Fantasyland, go that way. I might. Uh, we'll see when where life. I would. Me. They're both gonna be rough. Once you get at the end of the building, traffic's probably gonna be lower over that way, but it's gonna be. You're gonna be see, you're gonna be swimming upstream. It's alright. I'll see like how I feel. If I'm knackered but uh, tired by the end of yeah. it, then I might just like call, call it. it a night. <laughs> call it a night. Tough Jay Grubbs, there are a lot of people here. Good crowd surf, yeah. We could Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. I'd be down. Just, just what they can do is when you need to get through, we'll throw you up on top of everybody. As they walk, they, they can just pass you back. You know what they should do? You see these like little rooftops? Yeah. They should like hire those out because I would definitely watch it from up there. Yep. That would so, be nice. <laughs> there you on the other end down there. There's a there's a Club 33 one down there. You can't watch the fireworks from there anymore because they close early. Right. But you used to be able to go up there and watch the fireworks out there. Oh. What was that name of that restaurant? Um, I don't know if it still exists. Is it California Grill? That's over there on top of the Contemporary, yes. Did that have the view? Yes, so that's where I go watch them from. I don't, oh. so they, they all come off from the grill and they come out, and you can see everything in the across there, and they pump the music in over there. It's not as, you can't be this intimate with it, but when you, you, you can still see the little green dot of Tinkerbell and everything, but it's not oh, the same, cute. so. Oh my God. <clears throat> all right, eight minutes, guys, eight minutes. So excited. John Dami, you're welcome. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We welcome to our family. We appreciate you being here. And what did I miss?
Oh, got it, thank you. Oh, ever since people are texting me telling me you're here. So I just walked into Magic Kingdom, don't move. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was trying to tell everyone to tell you not to move. Sai is heading your way, just FYI, she just landed. Yeah, <laughs> so. I was, because you know what it is? I don't think I've ever been in that Christmas shop. Yeah. Oh. So I had to ask for directions. Yeah. And it's obviously been a few years since I've come here. Yeah. So I'm like, where is it? I think I asked about six cast members. Oh no, did someone fall over? Uh, it was an empty one. Oh, so okay, that's all right then. Somebody put a heavy bag in the oh, back of it, it and fell. That's a bit silly. <laughs> oh dear. You know what I would kill to be you and Jeff right now? Oh, because of and how Kenny, tall we are? Kenneth is tall as well. Kenneth is taller than I am. Oh my god. He's taller than by like, you! By like three inches. No way. He's a lot taller than I am. Nick the Ambrosio, welcome in. Short people problems. When does I have dinner with Jeff? I don't know if they want to disclose I, that information. I do have dinner with Jeff, but... It, that's up to Jeff to confirm. Yeah, they're going to wait for Jeff to confirm. Yeah, so. I do have dinner with Jeff, though. Most importantly, I have dinner with Cynthia. Nice. Every day. <laughs> Cynthia, what day is it? What day is Cynthia here? Is uh, it Friday? It's Friday. Is it Friday? Okay. And her daughter doesn't know I'm here. We've been keeping oh. her surprised from her. Well, now. hopefully she doesn't. <laughs> uh, no, I think Cynthia knew I was coming, so she got her. Okay. That's you. awesome. Does Mickey Mouse still oh. meet? Oh, just Five minutes. Does Mickey Mouse still meet here? Good He's up front, up that way to the left, where uh, um, the, the theater is. Yes. Yep. Does he do it till late? Yeah. I think so. Ooh, I might go to meet him. Nope. See if he's still available. Oh yeah. Oh, don't worry. My mom loves your accent too. Oh, hello, mother. <laughs> What's your mom's name? Ruth. Ruth. Yeah. Hello, Ruth. Same location until the lighting returns to normal. Currently, it is a 15-minute wait to meet Mickey. Oh, until 10:30. Oh, so the park's open till 11? 11. So I'm gonna go do. You got till 10:30, yeah. Uh, I think instead of going on a ride, I'll go meet the mouse. Yeah, after, it's the no. sorcerer Mickey up there. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. It, well, it used to be. I don't know if it still oh, is. Yeah. I know there's a time when. Why did they get rid of the talking Mickey? I don't know. I really liked it. Yeah, I don't know. That was a that was very interactive. I loved but, Mickey when he was speaking to everyone. Well, they could they could easily do like they do with these other ones and have somebody else in the not well, to kill the magic, but somebody else in the back just voicing out to him like yeah. just so that it has the the, the right pitch and the right voice and all that. I get so. it. I get it. Yeah. Isaac Nail, you did hear. Sai is here. She's King down Isaac. here. He's the legendary legend of Legendland <laughs> because he's the lyrical genius. Legendary he's legend of Legendland. Legend Land. Yes. He is a very good lyrical genius. Yes, because he's actually gonna, if he stays in your stream, he's probably gonna, gonna put the words of the show for you. Oh, he does. Yeah. Yeah, he, he does he's that so a lot. Cool. And his little uh, niece, is it niece? I think his brother had a daughter. So cute. Oh, nice. So sweet. Alright guys, you might get that camera in your face the whole time, but we'll see what you do. It happens. Yeah, this filled up really fast. It's actually kind of not bad because there's like nobody immediately like around us. They're not crushing us. And as long as everybody stays where they're at right now, Sai has a great view because there's Hello. nobody. Like, this is Sai. Hello. Right here. And her view is like unobstructed right through that pathway right there. I know. I, as long as I see, my only thing is think about. Yep. And you know the end when they do all of them, like all the. Yeah. Yeah, that thing. Yep, it's going to get you. Yeah. It's okay. You're allowed to cry. I, I probably will cry. <laughs> I apologize. And after this, guys, we're going to walk over to the Grand Floridian and look at uh, chocolate Easter eggs before they go. Uh, I've already taken a lot of pictures, and being that I'm going to be in North Carolina, um, I'm going to sit down and have some time to edit some things. See, there's already a kid next to us. See? This. This is what you look out for. Because that one's going to go on the shoulders. He's already he's already exercising his shoulders and rotating them, making sure he's he's good. Samuel Sellers, welcome in. 
You just ordered your 10,000 foot ladder? For what, what did I miss? You cried when you saw Luminous in person. Luminous is gorgeous too. Did you know you're the first person I'm actually meeting since I've landed? Oh my gosh, I feel special. You, you, you should feel special. Oh, I feel extremely special. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. He's the first person I'm meeting. Yeah, you just rushed straight over here. I really wanted to make the fireworks. Oh, it wasn't me, it was the fireworks. No. Nah. <laughs> no. You, me, and you was a different Listen, we, we just happened to be here. You Size great. Size great. Oh, oh look, here. there's already kids on. on we got. We have two right there and there. They do up front and then oh. back. All right. Just not in the middle. All right. Now there's another kid next to us on the shoulders. See? I apologize if I whack you with my bag. You're fine. I agree, Move Mania Nick. You might take half a step forward. There you go. That way nobody gets right in front of you. <laughs> I was just thinking about that, so I better move forward. The pasta welcome in, thanks for being here. I'm actually surprised we've got one minute. I'm so there you go.
Isaac's not spamming, he's okay.
Tink tonight. You have to watch it again. All right. All right. Everybody say, I'm going to head out. Everybody say goodbye to Sai. I'll turn you back up. Good to see you. Yes. So, you're, you're always welcome. They didn't have a, yeah, they didn't do it. We'll look next time, though. Thank you. There was no projections and no tank. No. I don't know why the projections, they, somebody said the projections have been uh, pretty rough. But I don't know why, I mean, I know why Tink wasn't there because it was too windy. But for a while, people, they said the projections haven't been going on Main Street for a little bit. That's okay. No, I still had fun. It was so yes, fun. it was fun. The music is, <laughs> and all the fireworks and the colors. And, yeah. All right, Sai's going to go meet uh, Mickey Mouse. Everybody, everybody say goodbye to Sai one more time now that I got, got the light turned up on you. And we'll, and we'll uh, see you all very soon. Wherever that may be. Wherever that may be. If you're here for a couple weeks, yeah. message Sai. Yeah, it's right over there to the left. It's just give it. Bye. Thank you very much. You too. Thank you. All right. And we're going to head out and walk over to Grand Flow. Take the walking path and we can get out of here. This is what it looks like. Okay. We do this. The people that stop 
in the walkway are the ones that cause the traffic jams. Ninety percent of them don't know that they're standing in the walkway, but that's okay. Hey yeah, guys, we get to see Sai tonight. I didn't know she was gonna make it in time. I didn't think I was gonna see her until next week. All right, we're gonna make the walk over. We can ride the, the monorail, fight with all the people, ride the boat. I don't wanna do that. I need the exercise. We're going to, uh, we're gonna go take the walk. Go check out the chocolate Easter eggs. And the Grand Cottage sells all the treats. Hopefully you guys, you guys got a great picture on the uh, on the stream of the fireworks. Looked pretty good on my end. I think I had all the settings right. The colors looked good. <coughs> no worries, Candy Mom. We just say goodbye to Sai. Just think, we were in the in the very front of the park. So all this that we're fighting is just the very tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Monorail's closed, that's even worse. All right, have a good night. So all these poor people that were playing on the monorail, I'm just... Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I'm taking the walking path to Grand Flow, is that all right? Yeah, thank you. Have a good night. And now we have the, the whole thing to ourselves because monorail's not running, so they can't take it. We're just going to go do the walking path. We're going to walk back. Uh, Caitlin Lee Hugh, welcome in. I didn't want to interrupt, but got to stand by you at the fireworks. Wish every money. Oh, I wish you would have said hi. I'm sorry. Caitlin, it was good to, uh, <laughs> kind of good to meet you, even though I didn't get to see you, but uh, at any point in time, you're always welcome to say hello. We appreciate that, though. Thank you for stopping in and saying hi now. Okay, we can't watch uh, security as we leave. So, yes, sorry, Caitlin. And I bolted fast, so I apologize that uh, that I didn't get to see you before I, before I walked out. All right. Even these boats aren't... I don't think these... Oh yeah, it's up here. These boats are running. Oh yes, please come up and say hi. I, I promise you, you're not, unless I'm like in the middle of a conversation with somebody, <laughs> don't jump in front of the camera and all that. But uh, outside of that, you know, come say hi to anybody or at any time. Ohana Magic, welcome. Is there a SpaceX launch tonight? I don't know. There was one on Thursday, or not Thursday. There was one on uh, Saturday. Charlie Boy says it's extended hours tonight, closing time. It is, uh, it part closes at 11 tonight for everybody. It's that cinnamon roll energy, that's right. I'm wide awake and I gotta, I have to wake up in six hours. <laughs> for gotta wake up oh I hear it it's right there you can't see it oh you can see it it's right here it's the Main Street Electric or uh, <laughs> it's the water pageant so these are the boats right here for the uh, fireworks cruise this other thing here I believe yes this is these are the panels right here the red lights for the uh, the other show, the pet water pageant. I hear them playing music, but it must just be playing their. Here, 
Oh, there's Pete. There he is, right there. All the way over there. Sparky Pink Diamonds, hello. Kelly, welcome. Um, Kelly says, be here next August. Well, safe travels in August. Don Crocker, welcome. <coughs> Sorry, I stopped next to the smoking bench and I didn't realize it. <coughs> I have a, uh, it's mild, but I have a mild allergy to smoke. It, it cho It's not mild. I don't like suffocate or anything like that, but it chokes me up and I can't breathe. It's way over there. I kind of wish it was closer as we walked. I was hoping to be like right in front of us as we're walking through here. There is a space, there was a SpaceX launch tonight. <laughs> yes. If you guys haven't seen the, uh, the uh, chocolate eggs over here either, absolutely spectacular uh, this year. They got some really nice ones. Up. The elemental one with fire and, and water is really good. Mr. Caruso, it's already launched. Welcome in, Ron. Ron, we haven't hung out in a while. You need to come back over here. You can kind of see if I turn this back up. Well, you see these right here? These are the tops of the screens. They haven't, they haven't gone through yet. Oh, I love the candle in the water with uh, Elliot. Oops. Are we gonna see Steve's Bridge? Nope, that's, that is over between by Hollywood Studios. We will be going over a bridge. I, I couldn't afford this bridge. It is moving its way this way. It's getting closer. But I think it's going to be... Oh, who knows? Maybe by the time we get up here, it'll be uh, at the bridge. It'll be here. It is moving actually pretty fast. Uh, you know what? It might actually be coming back for the night. I hope not. Which means it's going to shut. The bridge is going to be closed by the time I get up here. We'll just have to wait it out. Let's see. Crocodile, they're playing the TikTok song. You know what? Might be going. It's just turning is all it was doing. No Stefan, hello. The full moon is getting ready to rise in the eastern sky. Well, it is absolutely covered in clouds tonight. So I don't think we'll get to see it. But thank you for the info, Bill. And welcome. Okay. There's a boat. Can you guys hear the music? <laughs> the boat horn actually fit with the music at that <laughs> I can walk faster.
monorail's back running, apparently. Is this new? Good luck sleeping in one of these resorts right now. Oh, John, I'm sorry to hear about your, your uh, what you're going through, man. Hope things get better for you. Mandy Adams, hello. If I missed anybody, I'm sorry. Eventually, Pete's Dragon's going to come back up on there. I thought. They're moving. All right. Let's get you guys turned back up so you can see. Oops, that's the wrong button. There you go. All right. In doing that, what we have left is this little stretch right here, and we're into the Grand Floridian. You remember when the water pad just started with 22... Water Magic Suite number two in D major. Oh. I don't. Yeah, this was way better to do. Uh... <laughs> yeah, close. you come to Disney, you're going to be up late. Just plan on it. Um, decided to call a couple curveballs earlier if you missed it. We were going to do the contemporary, and we started with Grunt Flow, and we're going to go to Magic Inn, then we're going to go back to the contemporary, and then I had to go back to my car. I was like, you know what? No. I don't want to go through security that many times. We're just going to, I said that I thought we'd go over to the contemporary and start there and come backwards. And on the way over, I just said, you know what? We're going to get off on Magic Kingdom. That's what we did. We just got off on the Magic Kingdom, and started there, spent most of the day there. Now we're just coming over here. You're, you're going to miss the eggs from uh, Contemporary. Sorry. I hear the uh, fireworks for Epcot in the distance. They're going to be off that way. Monorail red. Contemporary way over there. You see the tip top of the castle way back there. That's how far we've walked already. <clears throat> yeah, the last time I got a room here at the Grand Floridian, unbelievable. Uh, they put me on that corner right on the other side of this building. So I had a perfect view of the lagoon, I could see the poly. I could see the castle in Space Mountain. Um, it was, and I could watch the fireworks. I watched the fireworks from there. Steve is our bodyguard. <laughs> I am rather, uh, I'm bigger than most individuals. Didn't figure for me for a pitcher, like a baseball pitcher. I pitched in school. Actually, I went up playing every position throughout my career. But in softball, uh, I played shortstop first and pitcher. See Dale's vlog of the golf tourney. Y'all worked. Oh yeah, so uh, yes, and there was actually a, uh, there was a, a stream or a TV show about it, I think, on, um, I can't remember what it was, NBC or Peacock or something like that, and, and we were on it.
a little taller than you, but that's not saying much. You know. Matt is a little, what I would call vertically challenged. <clears throat> also, don't know if you guys saw how many people put their kids on their shoulders during the, uh, the show. But that's why you watch out for them ahead of time. You got to look, see where them little kids are standing. Because they ain't going to be standing there much during the show, past the show's beginning. <clears throat> okay. We've made it to the Grand Floridian. We gotta go over to the, uh, the lobby and check out the chocolate Easter eggs. <clears throat> Excuse me, one of them is still in progress. They paint them with cocoa butter. And uh, you go through the whole process and show you how it works. Here's the castle way off in the distance. So you can watch fireworks from here. Also at the Polynesian from the same kind of view. <clears throat> Thought about grabbing real food from Sasagula Flats. Decided that we're not gonna do that. And I thought about grabbing real food from Captain Cook's. Also decided we're not gonna do that. Instead, we're gonna go to White Castle. White Castle before a, a plane ride, that's the way to go, right? Okay, we should be able to go in here, I think. That's fine. See if Yeah, we should be able to walk through here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So here you go. Here's the floor. Got goofy. Manny. Mickey. Donald. There's other characters in some of the other floor designs as well. But we made it. And there's one of these still being done. Um, it's incredible. We do another character once all Pixar. <clears throat> I think it's all Pixar, but... <clears throat> all right, here you go. Right, here we'll start with this. So here's the Grand Cottage. It's closed right now. But they have their little treats sitting out here all night. They're all in the back there right now. There you go. I've had Raising Canes and it's very good. The problem with Raising Canes is the Raising Canes that's close to me is ridiculously packed. So we got some macaron box for $15, the white chocolate bunny pop for eight. I've never had one of these, but I've heard they're amazing. It's the grand egg for 20 bucks. I, I just been told it's very good. I like that little confetti pop sheep. Got a bunny pop flower pot for 15. The marshmallow egg, which I never can find, is eight. We also have this kit. Paint your own chocolate egg. There you go. Then you've got the lemon blueberry whoopie pie for $8.25. Milk chocolate bunny for 12 bucks. 
the carrot blondie pop for $7.50, the hot cross buns for $4.50, the bunny burrow dirt cup, which I usually can't find, the Easter marshmallow pop for $4.50, the cream cheese carrot coffee cake for $9.75, the fruity cereal, fruity pebbles, Mickey pop for $7.25, the guava cream cheese sweet roll for $4.75 and then the box. The Easter treat box for $80. Comes with all that stuff. And the and the and the money. And I don't know what those are back there. Those little things right there, but they look really good. So they have jelly beans on them. They look like a kind of a meringue. Did you get that box for 80 bucks. Here's your pricing. It opened nine to nine. We didn't make it in time. There you go. There's the pricing for all the stuffs. All right, let's go look at eggs. <clears throat> so here is the Alice in Wonderland, Wonderland egg. It's an actual clock that works. This is made by Yachty. There you go. You can pause this and read it if you need to. But look at the detail. This is all chocolate. Look at the... The, the faces on the flowers are cool. The detail work in Alice. All this inside here is chocolate. You can see hidden Mickey right there. Working clock. Of course, the white rabbit on top. We'll get around to the backs of them here in just a minute. This one is made by Meg. Classic movies like Bambi. Also, on the back of this one does have Bambi. Bambi, you'll see a Bambi scene on that one. But really cool work here. I love Zaxby's William. It's one right by my work. Katie was inspired by the baby dragon. There he is. It's like he's hatching out of an egg. Yeah, I remember when Samantha Love, welcome. I took Samantha, we went to the opening of uh, White Castle and it was ridiculous. They still can't figure out how to pump out food fast. They've gotten better. They still can't figure it out like up north. It's crazy. Spaceship Beer is welcome. Stephanie did the Disney Park stacks. So we got churros and turkey legs and ice cream and pretzels. Really, really cool. We got some bunny rabbits. They're always here. All made out of chocolate. All right, we have this guy from Chef Allison, Emperor's New Groove. Is your favorite movie? So she was inspired to create a character, my Isma. That's the cat form of Isma. I really want to eat these things, but it's not good for me, so I won't. Then we got one, actually. There's a Disney Plus special on how these were made. Dad Build sent it to me, and Juan is on there talking about this creation right here of Onward. I love this movie. It's a really, really cool movie. Here's the van. He talks about how he made the van, and this right here. And he also talks about this. This is the cityscape. Oops, the cityscape of the city he's from. I believe it's from Venezuela. We get to the other side. And then this is Joanne's. This is the new elemental ones, fire and fire and water. And these are just, look at the colors in these things. Crazy. So there's the fire one. Yeah, Onward is very underrated. And then there's the water one. Really cool ones. We have the Squishmallow, whatever they're called, uh, the, the the oven. So, Munchlings, I'm sorry, not Squishmallows, Munchlings. We've got the Stitch, right there, that's really cool. Get this little basket over here. All the detail work in here, they're getting ready to decorate eggs. They leave Sunday, I believe, uh, Cynthia. I think Sunday would be the last day, I could be wrong. I like this too. There's even a. Oops, come on. There's a recipe book for pineapple upside down cake. Really cool. 
Some of these have really cool stuff on the back too. This is, so this is one of the ones I was talking about. So John painted this last year. I believe this was last year or the year before. So what he's done though is they take this egg, it's a chocolate egg, they hand draw, and you'll be able to watch the one from this year on that special too if you watch it. They, they sketch all these, and then they paint these with cocoa butter, all these characters. This is my favorite one. So there you go. More characters, we'll get those characters on that side when we get over there. There's some more on this side. Disney fan for life, Aaron, welcome. There you go. Then we have Justine's uh, Toy Story, Owl's Toy Barn. Really cool. You can see Al inside that one. Here he is. There's the Toy Barn. Yachty made this one from Beauty and the Beast, and it rotates. It's gorgeous. There's the Beast. She shows making this one on there too, showing about the flower and everything. See the, the, the picture? And of course, Bell on the other side. There. So cool. This one is Monica's Aladdin version. There we have uh, Jasmine and Raja in front of the temple. Really cool. Then we have Mary Rose and the Main Street Electrical Parade. There you go. I like this one. I think this one's new. This is a carton of eggs, but they're uh, Disney villains. Ursula, Queen of Hearts, Lotso, and Scar. I like it's like an egg carton too. I thought they were gonna put two more in the back here, but they didn't. Meg pulled this one from Snow White. It's really cool. Oh, turned on me. Toe higher than heel. There she is. Snow White model sheet. Really cool. And then this one is from the Koi Pond. I'm oh, sorry of the fish. So there they are. Got a little bamboo on it. Bit more rabbits. This is from last year, the year before as well. It's really cool. Carolina and Monica made Daisy's house. So there it is. Daisy's not quite proportionate, but just okay. She got some big arms, and, but she looks, I mean, you can look at that and go, that's Daisy Duck. There's some boots with some flowers in them. Little, uh, little rabbit garden down there, a little dog, a little heart on the, uh, I'm surprised that, look, this is how close you can, I mean, there you go. That's how close you can stand to these things this year. I was kind of shocked by it. You got Maria, I mean, the princess and the frog. When you look inside, it's hard to see, but you got the silhouette of Tiana in there. Really cool. Mary Rose. Oops, come on. Here it is for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Really cool run. And I like how she's got even the little footprints and handprints down here. Really cool. And we have the Sword and Stone from Juan as well. I love this. This whole base of this one is just really incredible. And then you have Merlin and Toad, or Wart, I'm sorry, Wart, right there. Arthur. And you got the, uh, the sword in it. So we'll go on the other side real quick just to show you what they look like. So there's the back of the sword and the stone. It's got uh, all of Madame Mims characters on one side and Merlin's on the other there's the back of the picnic thing with the fireworks from Mickey Major and Railway 
Here's Tiana's place. In the back of Daisy's house. Over here we have the back of the koi pond. This is the uh, Cinderella's, the, the model sheet for Cinderella. Who's on that side? Aurora. And then the eggs. Main Street. <laughs> yeah, I think he's seen them. There you go. There's the uh, Snow White and Owl's Toy Barn. You can see some more characters in the background there. Slide over here. I know we're a little zoomed in, hang on. Just going around the corner here. There you go. So there's the rest of Owl's Toy Barn. More characters. I agree, Thomas. These are these are pretty incredible. I would love to be able to do this at all the time. Or the effort, the energy. There's some uh, really cool things here on the back. I, I zoomed in and took pictures of these. There's a cramp. Come on. Here we go. Sorry, had to break it. So there's that for the crowns. Master art colored crowns. And then we have the paper fasteners. And then we have, it says right, but I think it's supposed to be bingo. So those are the, let's zoom back out now, sorry. There's the backs of the fire and the water elemental. And the onward, you have the, the trash monster and the scene with him and his dad. And the mana, whatever, manatar, so what, I don't remember what it's called. That's it, flying. Back of that. And these bunny rabbits. We can zoom back out now. I agree, Sandy, they are very, very awesome. Get that one. Here's the back of the dragon. And here's the Bambi one that I told you there was a scene for Bambi on the other side. There it is. And here's the back of the Alice Wonderland. It's got a clock on this side too, working clock. Cheshire cat painting an egg. Painting a, a beautiful egg with his colors. And there you go. Um, so the James and the Giant Peach is the is the big one. Yeah, the onward egg is cool. Dad, Chris, I was just telling him about the the thing you told me about. So this is made by Krista. There you go. So the base is all this, and then it's got the uh, the giant peach with characters. Last year, this was Kevin from Up. It was a massive. It, it was way better than this one. I, this is nothing wrong with this one. It's pretty cool, but it's just it was just more colorful, decorative, all that. We also have a Moana one. And if you go to the Yacht Club, they'll, all of the eggs are Moana. If you go to the Beach Club, they're all part of the Flower and Garden Festival. And then the Contemporary has the same ones they've had for a while. They got some new ones over there. But Fabi made this with the coconuts. Kakamora. Ha, <laughs> that's a good question, Candy Mom. I don't know. They probably can't keep them focused enough. I mean, this is chocolate, guys. It's crazy. And then the last one they're working on over here. Oh, he's actually here. Wow. Maybe he or she. Who is it? I think it was John. Hi there. Can I show you on camera? Is that all right? The process? All right, so he's painting with cocoa butter. Here it is right here. So the art of cocoa butter painting. There's all the cocoa butter colors. And here's the characters, painting a lot of Pixar characters.
That would be really cool. Wish I was that talented. There you go, he's painting. Actually, I need a picture of this. Yes, hang on a second. Oops. It's amazing what you can do, man. There you go. It starts with little sketches like that and turns into beautiful work of art like this. So cool. All right, guys, that's Easter eggs. Um, one more I want to show you. And then we have to. We can either call it a night or we can walk over to the poly with me. If you guys want, it's your choice. I gotta walk that way anyways. I guess I could carry this thing a little bit further. We still have 20% left, right? Yeah, he's painting with cocoa butter. But this is always here. This is even way before the Easter eggs. Nobody ever even sees this or knows it's here. I showed it last year. This is all chocolate as well. And Cinderella's Castle. This, this took a lot. I think it's cooled inside there too, but look at that castle. And it is all, every bit of it is chocolate inside there. So cool. Polly walk open at night? Uh, oh, <laughs> we're gonna make it open. Let's go find out. That's right, I don't remember if we got a cut. We might have to cut across the street again. I forgot all about it. Let's go find out together. Listen, if you're not sure, act like you know what you're doing. And it works. There's Cy again. Cy, get some sleep tonight, Cy. That's kind of why I wanted to go over there, Wendy, to hear, hear Akila play the ukulele. I do have to be up, just for the record, I have to be up in five and a half hours. So we, I gotta get this, get straight home, fall asleep, and get up for my uh, flight. Okay, turn you guys down just a little bit. There we go. All right, I'm gonna walk, walk briskly. <clears throat> Fake it till you make it. I don't have to go to bed. Right? I'm sleeping at the airport. Just tell the person next to me to wake me up when we start boarding. Oh, it stinks like mulch. Alright. We're going to go all the way over there. Because if I try to jump on the monorail here, it's going to take me all the way around the, the wrong way. All the way back. It is a nice closeout. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to walk briskly. Here we go. Look, there's a giant chess set. You can play chess on the beach. In the sand. Come out and the rest of them, whatever these are. <laughs> I, I don't fall asleep. I tried to stay awake to make myself tired. Didn't happen. I slept longer last night than I normally do, which just means I'm in trouble tonight. But I have six alarms set at 10 minute intervals. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. There's the pool. People in there. So, we're getting there. Uh, Disney Poo Head, 
1999 super chat said thanks so much steve my favorite resort the eggs are be so beautiful and you'll be better off just staying up thanks so much i appreciate you guys you don't do that but i do do thank you my problem is this though when i get to my destination i have to work the whole day I, i'm not just going and going to a hotel and go to bed I have to work the whole the whole entire day, and then after that, um, I haven't seen my family in two years because I didn't go home for Christmas. So I have a brother that used to live in North Carolina that moved back to Indiana, and then for several years I got we were you know, he was there for until I left, and then about three or four weeks ago he moved back to North Carolina. He's gonna be ten minutes away from me, so we are going to. Uh, we're going to check it out. <laughs> Jeff Condon, $20 Super Chat says, if you're up, I'm up. Jeff, thanks so much, buddy. I appreciate that, guys. You guys are awesome. I hear it. It's way over there by Fort Wilderness. Or Wilderness Lodge. I hear the music for the, the light, the electric light, whatever it is. The water pageant. Yeah, you guys are great. Thank you so much. There's the poly. We're getting close. It looks like it's right there. It's going to be a while still. <laughs> uh. <laughs> my favorite emoji. Or not uh, my favorite gift, not an emoji. All right, can we walk this way? I think we can. I think we have to go this way now. <clears throat> no, that's cast number only. We have to go this way. <clears throat> See, so we said hello, Nicole. All right. Here's going to be the real test. Can we get through up here? I'm gonna guess. I hope so. Still almost 600 of you here watching me walk to. See, there's a new building. It's right there. If we could used to be able to just go straight across, we can't do that anymore. But again, it's dark out. By the time the cops get here, I'll be gone. No, I don't know if we're allowed to go or not. We're gonna find out. along. I am hey, a morning person too, guys. I get up at 5.45 every morning. Get up between 5... I go to bed between sometimes 1.45 to 2 o'clock, usually around 2. My alarm goes off at 5.45. Okay, we're going to turn left. I'm guessing we're not going to be able to walk through there. Oh, there's a sign. I see a sign over there. Let's go read it. probably going to tell me that the walkway is closed. Maybe it's better if I don't read it. Right? It's better if we don't read it so we just mosey on. We can say, hey. We see. So you used to be able to go that way. Here goes that little laundry person. Oh, here goes the uh, monorail. It looks yellow and red. It's not. It's just red. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're supposed to come, but I don't know. I'm going to find out. we get there is this the walkway can we go this way we go in the maybe we go in the old grass let's go in the grass 
where all the creatures live. <laughs> That'll, let's make it a an interesting stream. Oh, there is a walkway right there. We could have walked down. Okay, we're just gonna keep walking. See what happens. Because if the walkway is closed, actually, I'm not on the walkway. And we're not breaking any rules. Because we're in the grass. Anybody <laughs> seeing any issues with this? I mean, I could just walk right there on the walkway. But just in case. Just in case. We're going to say, we're going to stay off the walkway. If we make it over here without anybody catching us or stopping us, then we can just go, okay, we were, we were going to go to the Grand Flood. We'll just turn around and go back to the, go back to the Folly. I've never, you know what? I'm not walking in the hat. Get around one more, then we'll get back on the uh, sidewalk. Technically, we're staying on this little concrete area, which is not the walkway. This is the walkway. Um, now we're walking in dirt. Are you, are you guys in just a minute? We're headed over to the poly, I think. That's the orange monorail. Okay. Um, well, here's the poly. Look, we took a wrong turn at, or left turn at Albuquerque. We made it. <laughs> uh, and we're here. We made it, guys. Yes. That's the guy that lives under the bridge. Yeah. Look, I wasn't gonna lie. I was just gonna tell them what I was doing. But I was gonna cleverly tell them though, I thought if I stayed on the other side, it's not technically considered the walkway. Depends on which one, I, which cast member, or actually the security's not cast members or third party. Depends on which one of them I got. Whether or not they would, um, go along with the ride. What's this sign say? Oh. Walkway's closed. No pedestrians. Let's go this way. I don't know where I'm going. I don't usually come. I think I gotta go this way. <clears throat> <laughs> Oh, we got 500 likes. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you all. Look, right here's where I want to be. You see Tron in the background. It's contemporary. Tila's be playing his last set right now. We're getting ready to. The 
do we really break the rules though? I mean, or are the rules not defined properly? I stayed off the walkway. The other one just said walkway closed. It didn't say no pedestrians beyond this point. So we went to the grass through the forest where all the animals live and that's it. So, Adventures with Steve. I don't hear him playing yet, but let's go back here and see if he's gonna be playing or not. Is this him right here? This is him right here. He's coming. That's him. He's coming out. All right. Let's get set up for him. Maybe. Maybe he's done. I didn't think about that. I guess, technically speaking, he could be done. <coughs> He might, uh, there's nobody back here. I mean, he might not have had anybody to play, so he might have might have headed out. But that was him in the walkway right there we just passed. Over by Trader Sam's. I don't need any snacks. We'll give it like two minutes and see if he comes out. He usually goes till 10 p.m. But, yeah, I got my water that Cy gave me. Awful nice of her. My guess is that he is done. <clears throat> Just because there's nobody here. Does he not know what we went through to get here? Oh, um, mom. Mom sent me a, a text message that said, I raised you better than that. Mom, we didn't break any rules. Um, one second. Okay. The special start of lots to use mom and dad. <laughs> um, just getting caught up here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, well, there's other people coming out. I mean, usually there's a million of these. Uh, oh, they have taken the lights off these things. The lights are gone off of the um off these poles. There might not have been anybody back here, so you may have you may have closed early. We can go ask. All right. Okay. Let's go this way. Excuse me, is he done playing for the evening? Oh, the Aquila. I thought you meant me. No, no, yeah. Yeah, I think he has one more set. He does have one more set? Okay, thanks. So he does have one more set. We'll give it a few more minutes.
We'll just see. No, I'm always here. At, he's always here at 10. I knew his last set usually ends at 10. <laughs> I don't need a spiked pineapple. We're going to wait a few more minutes. Maybe he comes out at, at 10 till instead of quarter till. So what do you guys want to know before uh, before uh, we head out? Because when he ends his set, I'm in, in the stream. I'm not eating any snacks. Ask him to play Ramblin' Man Holly. He has a set list he plays. It usually includes some of my favorites, which are the I Lava You song from uh, Lava for, on uh, the Disney short. And then uh, he usually plays Somewhere Over the Rainbow and it's on a, or, uh, What a Wonderful World. Well, hopefully we're gonna get to see, I believe it's a, pronounced Aquila. It's, uh, he is a ukulele player. <clears throat> Dad builds you going live tonight, you're still here. Wendy B1999 Super Chat says, get the ribs you tried and liked or get a protein of any kind. Thank you so much, Wendy. I'll be okay, guys, I promise. I'm gonna grab something on the way out the door, eat it on the way home, get home and go to bed. I'm not even gonna take my shoes off. But thank you, we appreciate that. You guys are awesome. It's still over 500 of you here. We're down to 11%, so he needs to hurry. <laughs> Give him two more minutes to see if he comes out. I'll be back, coming home Friday night, Amy. He's not going to live tonight, but we will have book club tomorrow night. Cambo, what's up, buddy? Thanks for being here. Oh, man. Showering's overrated. No, I'm just kidding. I take three showers a day. Good night, Purple Subi. Have safe travels. Oh, me, me safe travels. <laughs> Thank you. Oops, that's not how you spell. <laughs> What's the temperature there? This one here? Yeah, we did that earlier, but what is it now? Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> your water bill. It's 70 degrees right now. Oh no, I'll be remote. <laughs> I still, I'll still be all my streams and all the other stuff I'm supposed to be doing. Um, yo, you mean for the three showers? Yeah, I. I, I've cut that back since I moved here because it's not my water. So, oh, I got you, Jay Grubbs. It's 70 degrees. It feels like 70 degrees. All right, I hear somebody. I don't know if it's him or not. Let's find out. We'll find out if it's him. It's not him. We'll go home. It's 
Yeah, it, it feels very nice right now. Nice breeze, nice and cool. Not too hot. So you're curious if the date's been set for the same golf tournament for next year? Um, I don't know. I don't think so, Quindy. If you're talking about the Arnold Palmer, um, I don't believe they have. It's usually the first weekend of... Um, usually, not always. Usually the first weekend of March. It was the second weekend this weekend, for, or this one for some reason. All right. It might be time to call it tonight, guys. I gotta get up at five. Five hours, I mean, at three. It gives me an hour to get home and all the other stuff I gotta do between now and then. So, if he comes out in the next few minutes while we're saying goodbye. But he's usually out here by now. Until then, next week, I'm not sure where we're going to be at. Might be, uh, might be, I hope you don't travel. I'm going, it's going to be mid-60s all week where I'm going, up North Carolina. But I'm not sure where we're going to be at next week. It's going to be somewhere. Maybe at, uh, I don't think it's at Epcot. I'll have to double check. It might be, so we'll find out. But until, uh, until then... Love you guys, and see you next time.